it's a basically infinite money scheme. And I was like, no, Louis, that's Didn't sorcery for scheme. you. Didn't call it a no. scheme. Definitely <laughs> called it an infinite money glitch. Was mostly being sarcastic on the phone with you, but also was was very close and in negotiations with trading for two more at the same time. I know. Time. So. I- you guys ready? God, look at that dumbass grin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Mythos. you be with you, America's most favorite every TCG podcast. Welcome back, George. I'm joined by Star Wars number one content creator, The Force, is always with his hair. Josh! It's getting good, man. It's getting long. Don't rub it in my face. I am, of course, joined by the man who will pump altered in exactly four months. <laughs> Louis de George! I will not. How's Star Wars doing, boss? I'm not pumping Star Wars. Pump, 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 pump Dude. it up. Star Wars is great. I have I got my Star Wars deck right here. Three Vaders, baby. All you Where do is run three go. Vaders. The if you're, follows. If you're not running three, be with you. If you're not running three Vaders, you're doing it wrong. Vader, best card in the game. Okay. I like the record reflect. I have stayed loyal to my true love, Goat Kana. Yeah, and when you show up. Yeah, some of us have like, to do things that are more important than talk about dead TCG. Some of us are here every single week, and so we have to have some form of content. Josh, so we you weren't here for things. 52 weeks. I don't want to hear it from you. More than that. But I was here we are, I think we are um, We are further yeah. along in the episodes than pre-Josh now. I think Josh has been here more than he hasn't. That Is that true? true? Yeah, that it's true. true. It was probably close. I, yeah, it happened. We should have done like a, woo, good job, Josh episode. Oh, but that doesn't, <laughs> let's be honest celebrating other people we take away the permanent guest title <laughs> not <laughs> no, no god remember that remember somebody said it the first like four months and it was like what is going on here like i thought we announced this pretty dress I thought we announced this pretty clearly i like the permanent guest title yeah, it fits it's great because i've become the permanent guest <laughs> no you've become the not here every other week guest i have missed twice this year so far all right here, that's not true. Here we go. Here's what we're true. talking about. We're going to talk about the market to 1K. There's oh so much God. magic news that we're so going to we're going to talk about topic. the general. We are only talking about Tay Tay and hot honey pizza during that segment. Don't worry, you guys. I got your back. <laughs> we're going to talk about magic AI. Our favorite, um, our favorite Chris Cox uh, did an article with an AI company or a technology company about AI and magic. Uh, we're going to talk about Wait, our did third. He really? He really did, George. It's amazing. I'm surprised it wasn't your your AI company. <laughs> Ave Maria. My company is dead as Pokemon. We're going to talk about Arthurian Legends. and a, a, We got a release day, Q4. We're going to talk about everything. Release time. date. A quarter. We have a release <laughs> zone. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll shoot our guess on when they'll actually release it and how much delays it'll have. 2025. Uh, we're gonna talk about Star Wars to 1K. That was George's title. I don't Damn know right, mine was. You were you were gonna call it Star Wars pumping or something, and I was like, if you're gonna do it, you just gotta do no, it. No, I said Star Wars sells out. That's what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna talk about the Amazon dumps of Pokemon. <laughs> my track record this year. Let's just go through my my track record this year. Not great, not great. Uh, we're gonna talk about Goat Kana, and then. We're going to talk about people leaving One Piece. It's going to be Wait, we got a lot of topics this week. We're not ending on Gokana? Nah. It's the One Piece, not the, the One Piece minute. It's the one minute piece. Speaking about the, the minute, I saw a MetaZoo Kickstarter box today for sale for $700 and you got a free sample if you bought it. Can I say this? I'm shocked people are still paying that kind of price for it. Like it's still like it's still routinely selling like in that five to thousand dollar range. I don't How get have we not gotten any further update from MetaZoo? It's so sad. I like it because like I'm assuming like in 2045 inflation will be <laughs> so that they can just pay off their debts with like a nickel. <laughs> and so like it won't be that big of a deal. So like I like this. This is bullish for the game. Speaking about it's bullish. It's not really. It's not really. Don't listen to that. That was a joke, you guys. Speaking about being bullish for the games, let's talk about the general market as it pertains to Magic uh, currently and what has been going on lately. I have noticed a huge influx in sales on collector boxes. Um, there's a there's a lot, particularly Lord of the Rings, both the, um, the special edition and the non-special edition have been selling a lot. Like people have been buying out the website. 
I'm still stuck on the fact that I have been on this podcast for longer than I hadn't. And I don't know if I'm proud of that or not. Like I, that broke me. I don't know if you should be or shouldn't be. I know if if you are or aren't. I know. That literally drained my soul. All right, Louis, I'm with, buddy, sometimes you got to look in the mirror. (laughs) What? I'm sorry you talking, hate the podcast so much. Why do you do that? I have been talking so with much? two of my good friends about trading card games for longer than they had been doing it before me. And I couldn't come up with something cooler? Oh, God. This is, this is episode like 87 with you. I think so. It's been it's been a wild ride. Collector boxes are moving. I did not see it coming. I'm sorry. I had to step out of it. I had to step out of it. It's just it broke me. It broke me as a human. I'm broken down, man. Do we need to call a therapist for you? <laughs> like, what I think Carol, so. Carol. I really do. I got Carol's number. Carol, Carol get that. back here. I'm sorry being on God. the podcast has been so rough for you, Josh. So it you hit me a little leave, while ago. You can leave anytime you want, buddy. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome back, Mick. <laughs> I, in my head, Louie, want you to know that your therapist was actually Carol Baskins. And that no, did not hit me until way later. Don't talk about no. Carol like that. Carol's the same. Carol or Carol Baskins? Neither. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> did did your Carol have a tiger too? <laughs> uh, whatever happened to that show? Weren't they supposed to do like a, a reboot did, of that? They did. It was terrible. He's in jail. He's still in jail. Yeah, that he won't been, get out. That would have been great. Him in jail? <laughs> on, on Trump's last day in office, they thought he was going to get pardoned. And so they had this huge limousine oh, I remember that. outside of his jailhouse with like a welcome home Tiger King. Didn't get pardoned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's got to be the worst. You think Dude. you're going? You think you're good? Somebody sent me a video today of a uh, police commercial in Florida, in Broward County, I think it is. And this guy was running from the popo, got caught, and they filmed an ad in front of him. It was like, this guy thought he was going to try to run from the cops. Not in my county. Got anything to add? Oh, not saying anything. And then he go back. They filled the guy in cuffs on the ground asking him for comment during their commercial. That'd be it for me. That'd be it. There's nowhere to go from there. That's the low point. That's You're the most Florida a commercial story ever. Of me in handcuffs. That ain't good. That ain't good. All right. Lord of the Rings uh, special collector box. Speaking of handcuffs. Three months ago was $290. Today it's 405 is that a Rudy pump or is that uh, is that just is that Rudy official? cannot pump magic? I don't know if I don't know if he can. He's got more effect than any of us do, but I don't know if he can pump all of magic. He couldn't save medicine. He can't save. No, magic. Listen, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> those, those two are not the same. Hold one on. doesn't need saving. One needs pumping. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> he definitely tried. He definitely, definitely tried. tried. He definitely, definitely tried. He gave the old college. He talked about he, t- he talked about it after we stopped talking about it. Oh yeah, God Wait. bless that man, Rudy. Oh, you go. like a year after Rudy, Rudy was Rudy was like, what? <laughs> yeah, listen, his Rudy, you are the Tay Tay of TCGs, aka the goat. All right, so <laughs> why why are things going up? Why are things moving? I, mean, I I haven't I didn't look at the because we didn't talk about this beforehand. Who how many <laughs> sellers are there on TCG player? Because yeah. is it a limited thing? I gotta say, I believe we started this segment, Louis, with there we're gonna talk about dual lands. Listings. There are eleven yeah. listings. You threw me the collector box <laughs> yeah. curve, yeah. and I'm we I'm for it. Dual lands and but the there's, a le- there's eleven there's 11 listings. listings. So it's not a ton of availability. So it's not like the super competitive still. mass undercut market. And when this came out. Was this one of the products where the rumor was like, oh, you're not getting that much. You're not getting that much. No, you got every box that you got. Okay. So it did. It sold yeah. well I at a cheap every price. I asked for. That's crazy. I'm Pokemon too. <laughs> How many times did you throw that out there? <laughs> we had to take Pokemon to get Lorcana and Star Wars. I did too. <laughs> That's how you know. It's like it's like the same level for distros. They look at it the same as MetaZoo. It's like the same uh, level. Uh, it's so good. I was so Metazoo, wrong about this. MetaZoo finally figured out how to be Pokemon. <laughs> I will say that conversation caught me completely off guard today. I was like, wait, what's going on now? Unbelievable. 
<laughs> made me so happy. Uh, like another one, Lost Caverns of Ixalan is is just on a tear. Like all the well, collector, yeah. bo- everything is on an absolute and utter mad tear. Uh, I, Lord I, of the Rings Special Edition is one I didn't see coming, and something worth. It's just interesting to note the price is constantly going up since December. It's just been it's just been on constant rise, but it only sells like December. It's sold 135 collector boxes. January it had a bigger month at 190, then February back to 135. In March it sold 58 boxes. So it's not selling in like crazy high numbers as far as a, a amount of product being bought. But the price seems to be holding. Is that is that just an availability thing? So I think that's part of it. I mean, it definitely has connection to like supply, but here the the, the problem is it wasn't worth anything three months ago, and today it is like. What? Okay, so here here's my theory. here's my honest serious take. It won't be about Tate or Hot Honey yet. I think that when we talk about uh, TCGs, I think people use the term bigger, best, goat, things like that, because they're fun and they're awesome, and I will encourage the use of them in full. But I think like Magic and Pokemon, what I would argue is that they're the most durable TCGs. In 20 years, it would shock me if Magic or Pokemon disappeared to zero. It would like it would floor me if either disappeared to zero. Mm-hmm. Every other game could absolutely disappear to zero. Sure. And like, odds are they will, <laughs> right? Like, there's been 10 trillion TCGs over 25 years. Like, three haven't gone to zero. Four? Like... And so I think if you're looking at like where people are like, I want to put money into TCGs, they're picking the most durable TCGs. Pokemon is on a pretty historic rough patch right now. So it doesn't surprise me that money would flow to the durable TCG that is somewhat firing in all cylinders, except for the disaster of a play booster, which I predicted. I So... I think your logic there is sound. I disagree I with. I, I disagree with your. T- I don't think Pokemon people oh, are going to magic. No, that, no, no, that no. doesn't exist. It I doesn't, don't think like that's if, true like either. the person that was buying Pokemon in the pandemic is not buying magic today. I disagree. That's what you with just that. said. I no, no no. I think that like I think there's two different groups, uh, three different groups. I think there's magic buyers, Pokemon buyers, then Tendy farmers like yourself, Louie. And if you're a Tendy farm, now I know you, Louie, for Tendies, you like to go to the riskiest, most reckless asset you can find. That's your MO. You know, I just got completed a Power Nine magic set, right? That's new for you, though, because every other set you completed no, like, has been a PCA, PSA like, graded and worthless. Shout out to every other indie TCG we covered I, in this podcast. I, I just finished a Power Nine set, and now I'm working on a Wizards of the Coast set of Pokemon. Yeah, that's brand new for you. That's not. I've been doing the Wizards of the... You just don't know what you're talking about. And so the Tendy farmers who want stuff that's in relatively safe cardboard, okay. relatively safe cardboard. That's a great... They, they, they're they're agnostic towards magic or Pokemon. And they're looking at this and going, I'll put it into magic. I don't think those people... I exist. don't think I'm, Pokemon I'm, buyers I'm, are oh, switching. I think, it's I think those people exist. I think it's beautiful that you think those people exist. I think those people go to... Aren't you doing it? You just completed a Power Nine set? No, now you're I collect a, now magic you're... and Pokemon because I love magic and Pokemon, not because they are, like, risk-free... A- they are incredibly risky assets when you I did not say it. they were risk-free assets. Let me be crystal clear here. Those words you never they entered are my sturdy. mouth. sturdy. I said durable. Durable. Same thing. And I they're think I said they're the most durable of the TCGs. <laughs> sure. But like the reality, I think <laughs> those are nowhere near risk. That's nowhere near and, a risk free asset. That, a person who who wants a risk, a risk, I guess, risk adverse TCG asset is not collecting collector booster boxes. I don't agree with that. They I are think collecting that, like, reserve lists. I don't think that's, that's true. It's a hundred percent. You don't not, have to think not, it's true or not, but I think it is one hundred percent true. I, if you, like what I think that you will have a hard time convincing me that a a collector box won't have a higher percent of appreciation 
it will. Well, but I think, it but will. that's not that's not the definition of risk adverse, right? I, I, okay, I did not say they were risk adverse. I said they prefer the more durable of the TCG assets. Okay. Well, I, I think that the more durable assets are going to be the risk. I think it yeah. is. And this so, is all just opinion, right? Yeah, we're we're all just guessing. That, we fine. don't know what it's going to be. But I, I would imagine that Power Nine like, and Reserve List and Dual Lands are going to be the more dur- they're going to be the more durable so, asset. I, I will give you a, a, a oh. different reason that it's collector boxes of newer Magic sets is, is pumping is that the sets were actually better than people thought they were, but they were overpriced. They were overpriced three months ago. They were overpriced, you know, whatever. Uh, but everybody got money back from their taxes and spent their tax money on collector well, boxes. Had me in the first half, not going to lie. That That is 100% what I think it is. I I like, agree with you. Like Lord this, of the I, Rings, everybody was upset. Tax refund theory is always my favorite TCG theory. Uh, uh, other than the following two. My game is huge in Japan. <laughs> and... Overseas, and it's, it's not because of the season. My game is du- my yeah. game is dumping. Like George, those are I'll, my two other favorites. I will I will poo poo your collector box take with what I would say is the most the only collector box that you could look at to see if our collector box is going to work or not, and that's Throne of Eldraine. Throne of Eldraine collector box in November of 2023 was 285 dollars, and today it's 235 dollars. It's gone down 50 dollars. That's the first collector box ever printed the by i would say by far the lowest printed collector box ever printed that would be my that would that would surprise me um i would like one of the rings the first iteration of things by the way not great zendikar rising set boosters first iteration they're below 100 bucks the play boosters they're they're also massive yeah, that's when they were still God, the stand up tall ones. Those. I'm no, gonna say it. God, no. no. Those were that awful. That box was goat No. The thin, the thin box is superior in every way. You just make takes that you know people are going to hate you for. That is yeah. uh, nobody I on their right mind. I could not care less about this. I want to talk about Tay Tay and Hot Honey. Is that nobody clear enough? Nobody in their right mind wants a set box that's three times bigger than it, it is needs to be. It is comically huge. <laughs> it, is, it is obnoxiously huge. I it, actually as thought bad as they Pokemon. could have used that same form function for collector boxes don't at me well they basically did that with the collector packs at walmart now <laughs> they're like in a yeah. box that's twice as big God, oh. what, are they, what are they called the omegas, omegas. Don't, the omega don't. Packs? Oh. i have PTSD. so many omega packs of double, double masters i bought that crap every week every week i bought a case of 30 of them <laughs> I, bought, I opened a hundred omega packs on the channel of double masters that's what I should have done with mine. I should have sent them to Josh to open on his channel. Oh my Josh. God. Peter, I would not have, Peter, you're so much smarter than me. I would not have sent the cards back. That's what I did with Peter. Peter doesn't know. I just took all the cards. Of course. He's not focused on magic anyway. I just you I can buy your box openings at hometowntcg.com. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a game uh, store. You're fine. You're, I think. Not I you, think, George, the viewer. I think a lot of money has been flowing into magic from from taxes crypto has been pumping like i think crypto there's pumping. something there might, like, there's like, probably something to the crypto crypto pump. crypto's pumping what why wouldn't they put money in crypto when crypto's well, pumping you because you buy at the top you, well, and, and people take money out of crypto the top, but here we go let's go baby we're still back eth little little rough this week little rough this week Eth, i got your back still baby listen I, bitcoin being connected to eft what eft is that what it is what is nfts it? Yeah. E T. What is the what is the thing I'm looking for? ETF. But I didn't ETF. want to tell you. ETF. Uh, Bitcoin being connected to ETFs is huge. I refuse to talk about. Oh. I refuse to talk about crypto on oh. this podcast with you. I <laughs> beg you only because you begged two, me to quit this podcast you for no. two years to do a crypto podcast with me, uh, and check. you refused because it was check. a bear market. Now check. the now the tendies are back. You, you, now the pack. I do this back. too. You can't say chat. There's no live chat. Chat. I can say whatever I want. It's my channel. <laughs> Chat. George has tried to get me to kill this podcast to start a crypto podcast. Okay? Not true. I said we should do it in addition to, but if you don't have time for that, we should replace this one with a crypto podcast because <laughs> it'd be way more fun and I care way more. Uh, <laughs> like, I think people take crypto gains and they put it into th- other things. I, I also don't think people are, you know, most people could just like have crypto. I'm one of those. I just, I just had crypto and then when it pumps and I, you hear all the news about it, that's when you sell it. Oh, I disagree like, with that. <laughs> I disagree with that take. I don't think <laughs> everybody who owns crypto checks the price of crypto every day. I just don't think that's right. I do every morning. <laughs> I was just going to say. That and Disney. I look at two prices every day. Might have a problem. 
might have a problem. Um, I don't know. I think like the that's a much more realistic look at the current market, in my opinion. We I, I told you guys dual lands. Like dual lands are pretty flat, but they were trajecting down. I have no uh, idea why you sent us this, and then we're like, let's talk about collector boxes. I said we were going to talk about the the whole market. I thought you two were able to think on your feet and move in a podcast. I, I, that's why we are here together because we. I'm are ready. This good is good to be with you, George. Think mm-hmm. on their feet and move on the podcast, not so that we complain about things. Uh, but there, there's a little, a little uptick, a little uptick on some of the dual lands. Um, so wait, why wouldn't people spend their tax money on that? Well. <laughs> So I think a a they are like dual lands are they are not going flat down. they're they flat going down no they were going down for a while they've been right they now they're down. flat they've been balancing out they've been balancing out that so this is actually a really good t- topic I think like people just like modern magic so I think I think a... reserved old magic is is I don't want to say it's dead but it's this like a... nobody cares about it. This is a very, very famous criticism in sports that like you can get some of like the top 50 NBA players rookie cards for way less than you can get some new modern scrub yeah. who like has been in the league for five minutes and has four points like people just like new shit. So there used to be a path, right? When things were rare and magic was considered more collectible there was a path a, a natural i start playing for fun i crack some packs i build a little collection i want to i continue getting deeper into collecting magic and then eventually you butt up against what's the ultimate collectible it's the reserve list right now we're getting a set every single month so there's no time to digest everything we're getting so many things that we're trying to be told are collectible there's serialized cards there's confetti foils they're the the anime cards the confetti foils the, listen, they're they're nice cards, but I'm saying that natural path is I'm, is so broken and and shattered at this point. There's no way, or there's less likelihood that you take the modern Magic fan down the road to eventually hitting collecting reserve list. And not everyone gets there. A lot of people quit. They, not everyone makes it that far. But there used to be a direct route to get there. Well, I think in addition that the the um, the acceptance the uh, acceptance of proxies in magic now has like a lot of people just they're just like oh, i'll just print this i'm not gonna buy a reserve i'm not gonna buy a dual in i'll just print one well that's like i think that's a commander thing more than a collecting thing like yeah but it being a commander thing makes it a magic thing because that is like the most played format oh, like god no 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 keep going louis <laughs> keep going louis like that's the, no. the 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 i would say no. I, what percentage of the demand of dual lands do you think comes from com- commander I think it's a lot dual lands, but if we're talking about magic collectability, I don't think dual lands are the only collectible thing in magic. There's yep. a lot of cards that you can't play in Commander that are That's collectible. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I uh, I have a smothering tithe uh, anime confetti foil that I'm thinking about sending to grade modern magic grading. That's something you don't see every day either. RNG that Games was- just did a huge video on it, and he he got me uh, he got my wheels spinning on on grading it. Shout out to my well of lost dreams here. Do you guys not grade modern magic cards? It's not I, don't grade, I don't grade any magic card. Like a, I have a, I bought a BGS eight volcanic island from a collection, a uh, revised volcanic island. It's worth the same as a, like, volcanic raw, island. raw volcanic island. I'll tell you, I'd go to PSA. I think BGS days are. Well, it doesn't matter. The nine nine people out of ninety nine out of a hundred people want that card to play, like. They don't want to really? like, even people who collect magic. Yeah. They want to, they want to flash yeah. it in their deck or they want to, they collect the, and they it's play the dual land. Yeah. Or, or, like, they, man. or they play commander. Like dual lands are, are commander cards right now. I would hundred percent. I would grade modern magic. I think, I think green modern cards is a, it's fun. It's also well, like, a, a here's, card. here's the problem. It's, it is a lot of, it is a lot of fun, but the community is pretty tapped right now. As far as there's a new set, every month and there's a premium set every other month that costs you four hundred dollars a collector box yeah. grading these things it's an extra fee on top of that right it's like 15 bucks right and, now well there's an extra fee and now you take it out of the cards that you're playing so like you don't get that excitement for playing the card and everything's almost everything that pr- is printed is playable in commander so 
you want it to bling out a deck, you want it to sleeve up, you want it to play, you're going to take that extra cost to then go proxy your thing. And Ma- Magic being the by far most played TCG limits slab collectability as a result of like the vast majority of the market wants to just flex in a deck. No. Like putting yeah. that soul ring, that masterpiece soul ring, or that even like an alpha soul ring, right? Like whatever it is, like putting that soul ring in your deck is a flex, and that's what people want to do. Louis, can your amazing card sorter figure out if it's a proxy or not, or is it not there yet? <laughs> no. God, no. It can't God. figure out what side. I will the, say. It can't that figure out been, the damn card if it's upside down. Like, it, it can't that, do. That has been the highlight of my week. So for those of you who don't know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to leak some DMs here, Louis. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Somebody, I won't name who, somebody on this podcast wanted to buy four extra Oh, okay. you, can, you can leak that. I, right. That's, that, that's, I, that's not where I thought you were going. No, nope, I would not do that to you. I would not do you dirty. Okay, don't do me dirty, but go your ahead. Picture, your pictures are safe with me, Louie. Good. Um, he was, And I was like, Louie, shouldn't you wait to see if your first one is any good? And Louie goes, I could be four times more efficient, George, if I had four more. First of all, for those of you at home, you would not be four times more efficient, but that's okay, because you already not? have one. Because you, you'd actually be well, I guess you would be four times. No, you'd be 80% more efficient. doesn't matter. Because um, you already have one. You'd be four fifths. 80%. doesn't matter. And I was like, Louie, shouldn't you wait to work. see if your first one works at all? As you've now had two scanners since I've known you. And both have been terrible. And he goes, no, George. I'm going to sell time to local people to have it sort their collection and build decks. It's a basically infinite money scheme. And I was like, no, Louie, that's Didn't sorcery for scheme. you. Didn't call it a no. scheme. Called it a glitch. Definitely called that's it a right. glitch. That's right. That's right. called it an business. infinite money glitch. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> called it an infinite money glitch. Was mostly being sarcastic on the phone with you, but also was was very close and in negotiations with trading for two more at the same time. I know. Time. So I'm very, I want you to know as much heat as I get, I'm a good friend to you most of the time. I, so yeah, I don't know. That was the best. Card sorter. It actually has been a huge help this week. Not gonna lie, it's been great. <laughs> Three but times what, it worked. It's, it's like it's like. Um, never mind. <laughs> Not going there. Canceled. It's Canceled. like a good friend. I'll go this way. It's like a good friend. It's really good when it works, but when it causes drama, it's not that much good fun. Oh, it's like George. Um, wow. So, um, you know, I don't know. Like, like magic. Like if you, so. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bail out your your dedamon right here, Louis. Hope you're taking notes. Here's what I would say. If I were to put money into any TCG right now, if I were like looking for ROI on TCGs right now, not financial. I'd, I'd only be looking at one game. Maybe Pokemon. Nothing else. I would be looking at nothing else right now. I think it depends on your horizon. I'm talking 20 years. Yeah, 20 year horizon. I'm I'm in. I'm with you on Pokemon. Like it's like it's you definitely the safest. Definitely the, like, like high potential. You can't tell me a reasonable story where Pokemon is dead in 20 years that I can believe. Like if it's dead, everything else is dead too. Sure. With TCG. Yeah. And the market has totally turned its back on Louis's favorite card game, as always. I can like totally. My one fifty one master word. set. I'm it's totally, it's totally is a strong it is, word. It is basically our distributor cost at pre-release on TCG player. The market has certainly rejected sealed Scarlet and Violet era boxes. That is true. I agree Love with that statement. It. And so, like at the end, like it also like first edition cards are way down. Like a lot of cards are way down. And the, so, like yeah. a lot of video games way down still. Like everything's down from the pandemic, though. Everything's down from like last year still too. Yeah, it's got basically flat from last year. Um, wait, what? Things are mostly flat from last year, like for Pokemon. Yeah, for okay. okay, fair enough. Um, like, but like that's where I would put all the money because, like, I just bought a first edition base set, uh, Blastoise and uh, Venusaur. Finish yeah, out my because, like, like, the market has pummeled Pokemon and not brought it back at all. Roughly, it's probably up ten percent from its lows, fifteen percent from its lows. Um, like that, like to me, like that is. If you have a tax refund and you want to like risk it all on cardboard because you are a gambling fool and don't want to touch it for 20 years, first of all, welcome to the podcast. High. You're in the right. says hi. Um, like, but like, I, the just right put it, I just put it in Pokemon. 
So yeah, like I think am I wrong? Are, I think like, no, I think great? like I think the biggest issue Magic has going for it is the age of Magic players is not getting younger. Uh, like the age of Magic players is getting older. Pokemon has the biggest like reach to like a younger audience, which is a big win. Um, but like you're you're not playing any short games on that. Like, I, I think no. like that that's the if you want to tuck something away for twenty years, sure, that's that's the play. But cool. All right, let's move on. To I don't remember what it's like. I also think like I also think it's very easy to put money into Pokemon where I think it's a lot harder in magic. I think like res- I think there's too many options in investing in magic. Whereas Pokemon, there's one thing. There's, there's vintage. I you I wouldn't Listen. I wouldn't touch any modern Pokemon with a 20 million foot pole. Yeah, but you're the same guy that said I want to buy Chilling Rain with a 20 foot pole, and it's a 200 dollars box now. That's true. It's doubled in three years. Congratulations. Should have bought ETH. Should have was... bought ETH. ETH has gone back to what it was three years ago. You realize that? No, Probably it less. hasn't. It's way three off. years ago, it was 4K. But when did when did when did Chilling Rain come out? Three years ago, it was 4K. Today, it's thirty eight hundred dollars, thirty five hundred. Chilling Rain's release day, and we were talking about Chilling Rain's about a year after its release. For the record, twenty one. When it was nine, it's wild to see. Oh my god, it has been three years. Yeah, we're old. God, time flies when you're not having fun. (laughs) I, I think I agree with a lot of what you say. I don't necessarily agree with the way that you say it, but I agree with a lot of what you say. ETH has more than doubled. Since shining, since killing rain release day, I don't believe you, but okay. June 21. No, this it is, is my favorite part of the podcast. Where you, you guys, where oh, you no, two I'm just bicker right. and Google? Is that 1707? I remember being a viewer. This was, was my favorite part. Right. But the, the point was that we had this conversation a year what was after the point? that. What was the a year point? after that. What's the point? What's the so, point? You're, you're moving moving the goalposts a lot. The it's fine. Crow? I, I'm not worried Crow? about it. Uh, I'm not worried about it. Crow? Here we go. Let's talk about Magic AI. So, um, oh God. Chris, Con- there's a there's a big uh, a, a big response to this in the community uh, about Magic going to AI because Chris Cox did an interview and essentially said, "Yeah, we will utilize AI in the development of Magic in the future." Uh, it's one of our things that we are looking at how to develop uh, AI, how to utilize AI in the development in the future. And of course, all the artists were all upset on Twitter. Um, people were upset on Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Shocking. But the reality of what happened. People were upset on Twitter? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you missed it last week. I said, yeah. well, Josh, I, I re downloaded it. Was, I was hoping that oh, one was going to slip. God. I was hoping that was going to slip through the cracks. I was going to oh. be like, how do you know, Louis? Are, are, do people know what side of Twitter you're on? Uh, so I have I have I have moved on Twitter to like five minutes a day. I have like a five minute timer on Twitter. There is a n- <laughs> zero zero percent chance. I've set those that, timers. that lasts more than a week. It just like suggests that you stop. It's like, hey, you spent more than five minutes. Yeah, and you're just like, uh, I'm shut up, machine. Have- Do what I tell you. I'm glad you have like child locks on your phone, Louie. That makes me really happy. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, anyway, so uh what actually happened though is Chris Cox was being interviewed by like a a technology magazine or website uh that does only articles on AI. So like they blew up this whole thing, like Chris Cox announced that they're gonna utilize magic AI. And the reality is like this guy was like, hey do you guys have any plans on utilizing AI in the future? He was like, yeah, basically we have some plans to utilize AI in the future. This uh, is, this is where I get irritated because Chris Cox basically said, yeah, we're a giant company and there's a game breaking technology. We plan to explore it. Yeah. Well, welcome to business. There is no, AI. if your company is like, no, we're not going to explore AI for anything. Well, it won't be a company for very long. You don't seem very innovative. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting because the uh, in the interview he was not focused on. I said explore, art. not invest, so, George. Okay, good. I'm back in. 
<laughs> I have a couple of big issues with the art side of, of AI in this. Like if they upload all of the magic art into an AI thing and it's like generate art like this. And they did. They did. That's they, why Oko wears a cowboy hat now. <laughs> if they were like generate art like this, that seems bad to me, right? Because like why is that bad? That is bad because they they license art from artists like that. They they the artist works in a different way. I guess if the artists are like Wizards of the Coast employees, it's different to me. So, but but they they are commissioning art from artists. So it's purely a contract problem. I think it's a, a historical contract problem though. They don't have the contract to do that in the from. We the don't history. know that, but like they might have. The, I mean, like the, the rights on this are incredibly murky. Like the, the courts have not ruled on that yet, that I'm aware of. I still think that's like I have no problem with them saying magic card design has been developed by Wizards of the Coast employees and uh, in structure for the last thirty years. Here's the Magic the Gathering card design. Put it into AI. AI starts churning out things that helps them make card design and gives them ideas for card design. And then human, the human R and D department is like, how do we make this fun for humans? Because humans look at things differently than robots, right? Like I have no, I don't think I have a problem with that uh, because that's their own pro. Like I want to do it, but that's their own. It's their own knowledge. It's their own Wizards of the Coast stuff. I have a problem with like taking other people's skills that are not connected to the company or weren't connected to the company and throwing those in a box and saying, Hey, create that. So I guess just, just to play devil's advocate, you are someone who's been very critical about magic art. Not only do you say they use the same art too often, but when discussing when sorcery, I ever said that you, or they use you, the same art too often through all of commander masters. Anytime we talk about serialized cards, you wish okay. that these I cards, for serialized cards. Okay. and all of commander masters. And like okay. you always say, you wish reprints. Would I, have didn't, new I art. didn't realize that Louis. was such a big argument that I've presumed. No, hold, I'm not, no, no. Okay. Okay. Continue. How, how would you like me to frame that? No, continue. to best better. suit you. Okay. Like you frame it better, As someone God. who has been wait, Josh, openly before you proceed, can sure. you put it into chat GPT and have it write a synonym for us so that we can make Louie happy? And I'd use love AI? to. I will. I will do whatever I whatever I can to use AI because I am going to be a company in the next century. Actually, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> but don't they need to shake something up? Because, like you have said that. That you don't think Magic's doing a good job in the art department. You've said other games have surpassed them drastically. Right. If that's the case, they need to catch up. Yeah, they need to catch up. I totally agree with that. They so, don't need to cut this, corners. Oh my God. You you don't know if this how this art's going to turn out. You don't know what it's going to look like once it's delivered to you. You have no idea. First, all right. Wow. Hard against Magic AI art. I, I have never that. disagreed more you, with Louis, and that says a lot considering his terrible takes on Pokemon. Magic does not need to catch up on art at all. Let me be crystal clear about that. The the subset hold of on, people hold on. you are disagreeing you're... with Josh's restatement of my take. That's what you're That's disagreeing correct. with. The take was that serialized cards should have different art than non serialized cards. That was the take. Just, okay. I thought you just said that. Didn't you just say that magic art needs to catch up? No, that's what Josh said that I said. What right, so I magic, actually said so is magic that... art does not need to catch up. So, so magic. No, I think magic new, art is new, ma- new magic, new magic art. Karlov Manor. Yeah, I think right. Art on par, magic. on par with sorcery. In a different way, yes. So e- equal playing field. No, I think the uh, hand painted <laughs> art is different than <laughs> than hand painted art is a different thing sure. than. Uh, than computer assisted art, whatever it is, than digital okay. created art. I think those are different things. But magic doesn't need to I make hand painted art. Like, I'm not saying magic needs to make, that's not their thing. All right. Magic art is incredible. It's uh, Seb McKinnon, probably my favorite artist, including all the sorcery artists. Like, I, I, it's completely different. Okay. They should do art a series of different cards. That'd be cool. I like when they do the artists, like the secret layers with different artists. Those are really cool. They could do AI artists. You have to troll the community. Was Seb McKinnon, was Seb McKinnon the, the signets, the artifacts? Did he do an artifact series for the secret layers? What did he do? I thought he had a secret layer recently. 
No, he got. I'm pretty sure he got banned from Magic recently. Oh, is that? I'm Wait, thinking of someone else. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right. You're he right. Went to yeah. an anti-vax. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anti-vax yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. Really. Right. And Magic I loves banning artists. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll it say was this. someone else. That's that, that. You know what? What can you do? We've Let all, us know in the comments section. We've all been there, Sebby. It's all right, buddy. We've all been banned from games. It's cool. <laughs> what are we who letting them the... know? What do we want them to tell us in the comment section? No, who Should... did? I want to know who did the the artifact series. I'm half was... man, half that. I thought Josh was going with. Let us know in the comment section. Should Seb McKinnon have gotten banned for being? Oh no, artifacts? I'm no. <laughs> Nick I like back. I like you um... and your channel, buddy. <laughs> no, I like hey, you and your a... channel. Yeah, I like the I like the comments too. I, I like. I... All right, two things. I couldn't care less about AI art. Like, li- like I respect AI art as its own thing, and I think like I think it's like degrading to AI artists to consider it lesser than other artists. I think that's absolutely insane, and it will look back at it as as complete idiocy in a few years. There are AI artists, and they're doing amazing things, and I I I think the hate of it is just frankly stupid. It's a different um, skill set. It's a different skill set, and like. Pardon my language here. Your asses can't do it because if so, you'd be doing it. Like at the end of the day, like AI art is a skill set that is incredibly refined. And like, there's some amazing AI art. So like, people just need to chill out. I also I, like magic art is fine. And like, why these other games have to worry so much about art is because nobody plays their game. <laughs> like magic doesn't have to worry much about their art because people play their game. Mm-hmm. Like. Fair. Like that is like the big point that nobody wants to say out loud, but I'll be brave enough. Come ban me, magic. Um, people play your game. Well, like, um, like uh, at the uh, end of the day, like people play magic, so the art matters less. Yeah, it's and not a lot a, of people probably can't even sit, can't even think about the their favorite cards art right now, right? Like right. If you think about your favorite magic card is probably an ability or something that like triggers. You're probably not. You can't even think about the art. Like I don't. I like that's why every other game has to worry about it. I, I agree with that. I know. Um, I'm I'm on a roll tonight, son. I, I think that's a good. Tonight, I think that's a good take. I disagree so I with. I disagree with your AI is the same skill level as like an actual artist. I hard, <gasps> I hard disagree with that. <laughs> but like, okay, <laughs> very so, much disagree with that. How Why? how do you compare? How do you compare someone who does like what I do, write, writing software, which is not it's not art, right? I make. But some people view it as art architecture. It's it's, it's a this skill. beautiful. It is a different skill. Rafiq and the doll. Right, is but, one of my but you just we artists. just took two. And it's speaker to MoMA. He does AI art. Right, and I, I have no problem with them doing like a. They're I, not well, real artists, though. According I guess to you. I don't know what the. We just the, took two things that we agreed were different skills, and you said that one you don't agree that skill. yeah that one takes as much <laughs> skill or talent artist. as the other so that's why that's why i said uh, let's just jump farther than down the train i would never be like you know what i want to do i want josh to who doesn't have any artistic skills in a classical sense i guess anything can be artistic if you spin it enough no uh, i i would not want josh making the magic art with a computer but, program that and programs that's where magic. I don't think but, you're getting it. But that's, I that's also not the want, situation. I also would not want Josh to make AI art because Josh is not an AI artist. He's a programmer. Yeah. AI artists make art with AI. They're artists who use AI. Okay, and what is their AI that they use? What has it been set up with? Like what what does what it generate means. from? Are you, yeah. are you saying, like, what, oh. what models is it trained on? What so information like, what, does no, it no, have? No, there's, there's two things. First of all, some of them make their own their own code. Like, right. Rafiki and all the one I mentioned makes his own code. I love that. And he has an incredible series of base. Right? If it's not trained on old, regular artists, and the, like, contemporary, regular artists in their images, but, I think that's great. But aren't, but aren't others, modern dude, arts artists inspired by and grow up painting paintings and drawing drawings of right. other artists? Yeah, but modern artists aren't a computer. Like, the, the, it's but like different. Andy Warhol, it, not a real artist to you. No, he is. He is not a computer. He is a human. Like th- there is so because still- he painted somebody else's artwork, he's okay. Oh my god, I I be because he he, I mean, he painted somebody else's artwork. His most famous work is the soup can. The soup can is somebody else's art now. It's Campbell's art. They oh made the god. soup can. It's sure. he literally painted a Campbell's soup can. You can have it. <laughs> like he's a very famous artist who made that statement. Yeah, you can have it. 
I know what that ha- I know what that means. You can have that one. It's not worth. I'm not arguing this. But like, you. do you think that? Do you think that's like? Do you think he's a real artist? Yes. Yes. Why? I because I don't think the Campbell's soup can is art. I don't think the actual can is art. I think looking at the can and creating art from that can is what art is. Finding something normal and and ordinary and making it unique and bold is what art is. That is not the conversation that we are having right now. I, I'm putting yeah. something in the kitty cat for you, Dr. Louie. Okay. This is the this is one of his most famous artworks. Will you please do me the favor of putting it on the screen link? I will I will put it on the screen. Is he gonna get his band before I <laughs> only if Campbell wants to sue us? I think we can all picture the the, I know the soup exactly kit. what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> did I did it post? <laughs> no. I don't have you're a You're still typing. I, I think our I think our viewers have us in their pocket right now while they picture this soup can. Upload a file. I don't know how to post it. Start getting your phone out of your pocket, everybody. And don't walk around with your eyes closed trying to picture the soup can. It's dangerous. I don't know how to post it. I I don't know how to help you. This is me neither. This is are riveting. you an artist because you're taking this and posting it in the Discord? Does that make you an artist too? More than you. <laughs> Got it. Did he? I oh, did it. Damn right. Are you asking? Did you do this twice on accident? Or are you asking price us of one. to, to spot price a Warhol? Of one. Is okay, this is one's a Warhol? Is that, is that art to you? Yes. Okay. So why is that art to you? Because he took something ordinary and, and made, made a art. painting of it. But he yeah. did not. We can both agree he did not design sure. the Campbell's. Could you game, make right? that? Could if I gave you a piece? No. Of, if I gave you some, re- then yeah. But then I also art. couldn't be a good AI artist because I don't have good taste other than in other than in Hawaiian shirts, music. That's it, really. Right. But yeah, your TCG taste isn't great. No. <laughs> I look look well, look what podcast I'm on. <laughs> I don't know. It's... God, we're dunking. I made this to be with you tonight. This is not good. We got to start defending our turf a little bit better <laughs> from ourselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From our... The only people who are criticizing we need, us. We need to beef with a podcast. Put in the comment section below what podcast you want us to beef with. All right, Louie, let's start a second podcast so we can beef with our own podcast. We're viewers here. You come. You already complained about being on this podcast. I don't want to do another podcast with you so you complain Wait, about that I, podcast. Hold on. Are we even? Did I finally hurt his feelings back? No. I, I think no I hurt his feelings back. I, unlike you, have no feelings. I have none. Uh, Zero. Carol. Carol. I don't think that's true. Zero. You couldn't, you couldn't offend me if you tried. If you tried to offend me, it Wait. would do nothing. All right. Let's go back to my, let's go to my soup can. I could not make good AI art. That's what I don't think you're understanding, Louie, is it's a skill set. If I made AI art, it would sell for zero dollars and nobody but, would buy it. And that's what what like I was people, what I was getting at was the question that why is one a more important skill set? Like people than the other? sells art for tens of millions of dollars. People highly value his AI art. I have no problem with AI art if it's not generated from other people's art. I but, think there there's a like I disagree that the Campbell's soup can like, is art that the actual can is art. I disagree with that. I think that is a it is someone a, put a lot of work into that design. No, they didn't. They didn't. They honestly they, they it wasn't a lot of work. It wasn't. I can, like it. it Louis not being kind of those around him. I, whoever designed the Campbell's know. soup can in nineteen in eighteen forty three. Wow. Not like, yeah, I'm wow. coming at Louis's you. Like, baby. all people didn't work as hard as my generation. I wear my hat backwards and sell like, dead TCGs. I would wear my hat backwards. Art. It became good. art after the year after Andy, whatever, made a painting of it. And there we go, boys. And that's it for the art section. That's the way to end it. Andy, whatever. <laughs> like, Louis, when does Arthurian legends come out? So. I, but I want to importantly go back to the idea that started this that this is not about not, art. Yep. <laughs> like, this was not about art. The conversation was about AI across the board, which I think is a great tool to utilize for Magic the Gathering to make magic better as a whole. So, can I ask you this, Louis? What? If they submit all the magic cards yes i already answered your question in the he first did. part of the subject and that you'd be you okay don't with pay that. attention yeah because no. you don't pay attention yeah because they i don't own agree it. with that you can keep saying that like it's gonna offend me i agree with you yeah. i'm too busy thinking about when i can go back to watching the tay concert again they own that they own magic cards they own magic game design That's well, they also what... own the magic card don't they no, they license it 
or they they uh, they uh, commission it. It's different. I, so those are two different words: licensing and commissioning. Sure. Do you know which one it is? That seems to be important. It's probably so, there's so many cards in Magic. It's probably a mixture. Yeah, I'm sure there's it's a probably and, some and that have. Been I built. also think it's. I, I Let's guess do for one reason or another. It's also just different. Like they for if you employ in every other industry, if you employ somebody to curate what is the core me, core mechanic of your your business the business owns it. And when somebody moves on, they don't expect to have recognition for it. They don't expect to have, you know, like when, when you get fired from your job, you're not like, Hey, I should have some pay for that. Like that, that is different than like somebody who is doing art for a card game, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think like that would be really awesome if they put together a, a system that was able to generate cards and come up with really good ideas that they can't come up with themselves to, to utilize. I think that's a big win uh, as long as they are u- using humans to test it and to, you know, to interact with it and to make it better from that world. Um, I guess I'll and just to, I don't know for me, I, I sit differently than you do. I, all these artists at this point that are making art for magic, the gathering have had their inspiration and they grew up and they came along as artists being inspired by something. And that's they, they have taken pieces of their style and pieces of their uh, their look and their feel and, and their process from other artists. And then they've developed some of it on their own, right? This AI artist is now boxed into, you can only take in, in, inspiration from what you feed the box, right? What the model's trained on. And that's where you take your inspiration from. And you, you're locked into that box. And then you have to do something to make that your own. Make that your own process. Make that your own style. If an AI artist was to take all of Seb McKinnick's art in Magic, pump it in there, and then only let it just make art to make sure it looked exactly like Seb McKinnon, and then put a thumbs up, that's probably not great. But I don't think that's what AI artists do. I, I think it's a different skill set. So I, I, I don't think it's that much of a problem. But like you said, they're not. They didn't say they're going to do art. What are you thumbs up in, George? He said thumbs up. So I gave him a thumbs up. Oh, gotcha. I'm being kind to those around me, Louie. I know it's not your motif tonight, but I'm trying my hardest. Okay, let's go to Arthurian Legends Q4. All right, before we get into it, I want a pool. Oh, if you're doing March Madness pool, it's too late because it's Arizona Friday. So ignore that, Louie. Wow, that is already happening. When does this set release? Date. You know that this is the most common time to get uh, snipped? So that you can take off work and watch March Madness? Oh. A vasectomy? God, I will say this. Every now and then, I'm like, God, I love this country. Like, And yeah, that's like one of those moments where the, you're like, this is why we're number one. <laughs> it so is like, the, most, it is the most popular time Absolutely. to get a vasectomy. <laughs> so do yeah. you like... Uh, what's that doctor? What, what's that type of doctor? Urologist? Uh, do, a do, do, doctor. I don't do know. Your, do urologists just like have super busy calendars this week? <laughs> Are they just like, oh no, they're just, they're just in the, there all day it's long? It's March storm. <laughs> do you think oh, they're cleaning oh, up? So while we're on the topic, up the scissors, who wins? <laughs> what What is your What's your Cinderella team, and who wins it all? I couldn't tell you a single team in March Madness this year. I don't like or, or last year or any year. Other than maybe I would guess OSU has been in there at some point. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> They're pretty terrible. Josh, what do you got? I don't like college basketball. All right. So I got my Cinderella team, North Carolina State. Don't like saying it out loud. I think the Wolfpack got hot at the right time. You really think they're going to bring the trophy back to the better Carolina? Nope. I My Cinderella team, they're not going to win at all. However... What does that mean then? What's a Cinderella team? I, they're I, don't win? You, I don't think I think you AI'd that Cinderella team. Thing. No, no, no. They, they gave it on a tear. They beat UNC yeah. last week. Um I I don't know who I have winning it all. I think I have I think I have um UConn winning it all, but I think it's kind of a cop out because they're the heavy favorites. I'm gonna go with my boys. I'm gonna go with Duke Blue Devils. Let's go. Should we do a bracket? It starts in like ten hours. Yeah. What about That's Florida Atlantic? It, it, it would take me about thirty seconds to make that bracket. Wait, are we? Is it just for the three of us, or is it like for like your Discord? Uh, no, just the three. Of us. Did you not do it for your Discord? No, oh we did that God. like two years ago, and it was like a big thing, and I didn't do anything for it. 
They're shocking, and really. I, Nobody Ice gets Nine, that. Ice Nine, I know he's not listening to this right now because he's definitely too busy like being a, a investing in crypto right now. So he gets it. Yeah. All right. So Louie, over under what date does this thing release? December 31st, 2024. Really? Is that your date? We're, we're writing it down. We're writing it down. I, I, I bet it released by December 31st. That's not the question. What date does it release? Uh, uh, what does Q4 start? Is that October? October. Hmm. November 1st. Okay. Yeah, right. Whatever Friday is closest to November 4th. All right, 1st. Josh. Well, it's got to be a Friday, right? No, which is listen, listen. listen. Uh, come on, don't release it on Friday. Wait, what? Why? Because I'm sick of these freaking games competing with Magic the Gathering night. It is uh, on a Friday night. You know what I'm doing? I'm drafting. We're we're doing the same thing we do every week for Magic. Do what I'm doing? Playing sorcery. We will we will do our sorcery release on the Saturday. That we will have a, a big thing and the available space and our regular magic players can still play magic. That's what we will do. Like, I don't understand. Like, Star Wars did this. We didn't do that. We did our, we did our Star Wars release on Thursday, four days after whatever uh, was that, six days after if release. Gosh, yeah, Star, he would have done on release day because he's the Lorcana. We later. release on Sunday. What's like, Lorcana? I don't know. Is that a new game? Lorcana release on Sundays. Oh, Goat Kana. I'm Pokemon sorry, Goat is the Wait, only they really game. Sundays? No, they release on Fridays, but we don't do a release party until Sunday because that, or sorry, Saturday. That's when our release, that's when our events are typically. Yeah. Like we keep all of our, our, our events for the other games on the days because like Fridays, Friday night magic. Like <laughs> I don't want my, like, I don't know. So, all right. So, all right. So you got, you got November 1st ish. Josh, what do you got? No, he's got, wait, he's got November 1st ish? Yeah. The Friday of the, November, the Friday 1st. November 1st. I don't oh, have I a calendar. Said, okay, I, does, yeah, yeah, do yeah, Mac, yeah, yeah, do PCs yeah, yeah. have calendars? Yes. Mm. George, mm-hmm. I know Simon. We've become friends at this point. He likes the Shark Tank. They're releasing on November 15th to honor my birthday on the 14th. No, that was, wait, that was to be my guess. Wait, was it? Hold on. Thanksgiving, <laughs> is it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. You're okay. You can take that guess. <laughs> oh, thanks for your permission. You're welcome. I got November. Oh wait, my calendar's wrong. Oh, I'm in the wrong month. Wait, what's so the taking? Oh, I am taking November first as a Friday. I'm amazing. Yeah. Nah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm taking the 22nd of November, week before Thanksgiving. I think November first is the most likely. Nope. I won't, won't be writing in time. So they might. They might. No, I want to be clear. This is when we get boxes, not when they say it's released and nobody has boxes. Oh, that's oh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> team Covenant does not count for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the sorcery oh. team. I know that's the is, only store that matters right now. Is Team like, Covenant going to get to ship boxes whenever they want to? That's pro- that's my guess. That's what they said last time. <laughs> A street date is only for the LGS. We all know oh, that, Louis. I on. didn't even get my. Let's... I barely got my product by street date. I received my product on Friday of street date. I remember. I remember that. We were very that was I was stressful. So, I was so it was pissed. stressful. Dude, you were cranky. I was so pissed. And you should have been. There's you been right two be days pissed. when I almost quit the store. That was one of the two days. I remember talking to you that day. You were grumpers. Yeah. It was a rough day. Yeah. It was not a good day. It's funny. Never mind. It's not that funny. It was that day and it was cryptic release day. <laughs> I was. I didn't want to say it that was loud. A, it was those two days. One of those games, still don't care about. It was when you found out you could see the God box from outside the box. <laughs> no, was... no, 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 no. That, that, that wasn't what it was from Cryptic. Oh. It was when they didn't get my, my product for three weeks. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, they were trying so, to save you from when yourself. When did beta release, Louis? I don't know. There was like 15 days. Uh, it released in October. Oh, so they're doing more than a year between releases. No. It, it might have been, been released November. in October, but didn't I, it, it cut, got didn't delayed it actually November. get here till November 10th? Wasn't yeah, it? it was the same day as the Lord of the Rings release. It was like right around the Lord of the Rings. So they're doing, I mean, they're doing like one year from beta, not one year from alpha, as somebody this podcast predicted. Yeah, I was wrong. I've gotten all the sorcery predictions wrong. Facts. Yeah. Um, I think. Like a kind of level. 
I think that they actually have boxes ready for Q3, but they are being very, very in te- like intentional on delaying things. They do not want us or anybody being like, hey, these guys can't get things out on time. Or George being like, are they ever going to print the boxes? They're never going to get you guys boxes. You're never, never going to get that. your box. You did. Never once said that. You can go back and review the tapes. I said, it'll just be delayed. I was right. Constantly. I do remember that a big point of like when we first started talking about you know the one year release cycle before we really got into it, of course. Of course. When we first when we first started talking about it, the, there was a big tone of yeah, but our Thurian Legends won't actually be a year, but like it's looking like it's going to be a year, and if one of our dates is right, a little bit more. Yeah. If you're right, Louis, it's technically a little bit under a year. I think you're like take what, the victory, nine Louis, days take the victory. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what they're looking at is right that same thing. I think they probably don't even have a date in mind. They're probably waiting to see what the magic like actual release date is to to put it not on a magic release that's, date. That's a smart move. That's a good move. The problem is that uh, Lorcana will have a release that weekend. You'll have... That's, I mean, not, yeah, you're playing in a minefield. so many effing games right now. It's unbelievably... Okay, like, here's, here's what we're talking about. There's always been so many effing games. But Louie, now there's so many like viable games with yeah. there's never been this realistic game. realistic numbers of people playing them and yeah. communities and like backed by serious companies like it's because everybody plays commander for magic and they all try out all these games yeah 100 yeah. percent. it's it's crazy the the number of actual viable stable tcgs is insane I was thinking about that today because I was like, oh, well, there always has been games, but not like this. Not games that like can nobody make a splash. Yeah, yeah. Nobody cared about it. Well, you, you got a community of 12,000 people, which is awesome. That's great, but it doesn't affect the rest of the landscape. Yeah. These games, in when there's three or four of them, actually affect the rest of the landscape. It's yeah. wild. Yeah. Um, and like like we had our we had our Star Wars night on Thursday night. We sold more it was Tuesday night, sorry. We sold more product on Tuesday night at Star Wars than we did the whole, like basically our whole weekend from sales. I'm all for it. Pump it up, baby. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just like crazy. Because um, people for those games buy boxes because there's no, there's no other way. You know, it's the same yeah. thing that happened with Sorcery, right? Like they buy boxes because there's nothing else to buy, right? You don't buy yeah. singles because the singles don't exist. Um, and opening these other boxes is so much more exciting than opening a play booster. It's because there's just all this unknown and everything's going crazy. This community is massive. It's all brand new. It's yeah. it's so much more exciting. Yeah. Um, Plus, if it has a positive EV, that means it can be a viable game. Like that's what I've learned. So, Louis, like, can you make a can you make another Star Wars video? Because I'm very comfortable in the number two content creator slot. No, and I think we're on the Star it, Wars train. I think we're on the I think we're on the Star Wars train together. God, my favorite thing I saw on Facebook all week was when somebody posted your video and you commented, that's me. I said, I said, hey, I said, hey, that's me. I was scrolling through the feed and I was like, hey, wait, what's wrong with that? Are, I just thought you it was not, so funny. Are you not supposed to integrate? No, it was community? great. You're great. Huh? It was just my huh? favorite thing. You were just so excited that somebody shared your content. Huh? I got. I yeah. understand. I, get I don't it. have 30,000 subscribers. No, I get it. I would, I, would have, me, I would have thought the same thing. Hey, that's me. That's awesome. I just wouldn't have posted it. But I did. I you, said, that's listen, me. listen, you do you, man. You do you. I said, holy cow, that's me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either. <laughs> that thumbnail was baller, too. Your thumbnails are always good. That thumbnail had stars in the Star Wars word. Oh, that was, um, a, that was a lot of work. It's like seven minutes. Arthurian Legends Q4. Notably, they also said that they were uh, essentially not going to be doing a ton of spoilers, uh, that they're going to send some stuff to some content creators and that kind of thing. Um, Maybe you better get a spoiler. That's what I'm going to tell you. Not, not Louie. Not Louie. May the zoo be with you. If, if, and if I, want, sh- I, want, I want to tell you guys, we will bend the card. For quality, I, if, we'll, we'll bend if the there's card. a shark card and I don't get it, I swear we will bend the card and let God, you know if it I have back or single handedly back or whatever Louis thinks is better. Why the would there be a shark, shark card mark. in Arthurian Legends? I don't know. My playmats. God are forbid. Oh, I will say this: my playmats for Arthurian Legends, they're not waiting until Q4. I'm launching that crap. I'm not sitting on a bunch of playmats in my shop. 
I thought I thought maybe three or four months I could hold it. We can get through the summer. I'll hold them. I'm, I'm glad, many, I'm glad you can't wait a year to spoil your play. How mat. many play mat <laughs> releases have you had this year? Two? Uh we had one play mat release, and now we will have the Arthurian Legends release. That's, so it's a hold on. Okay. The short way of saying that there's been two play mat releases. Yeah, but there will be in a third the time now. of one sorcery release. <laughs> there will probably be a third God, that comes with the. You Arthurian are doing Legends. three times releases of your car of your card game, huh? <laughs> you are releasing. I like play mats three times faster. Well, I only your did card 50, game can I only did fifty copies of the first one. I'm only doing. Well, I only did you like only sold copies. fifty copies of the third one. We don't know how many copies Team Covenant sold. We've already been over of this. my play mat. God, yeah, God, isn't that how it works? Play mat. Is yeah. that not how it works? No. <laughs> I have boxes. I want to have to sell play mats. <laughs> <laughs> um, Your play mats do look good, though, dude. These ones look sweet. I don't have a picture of them. We'll post them next time. I guess yeah. I probably could. I could probably get one pretty easily. Uh, I don't. I don't you know. and you know you have it on hand. I don't. I legitimately don't. <laughs> what? Are you a Campbell? Are you a Campbell use, soup one? Listen, listen. This is bad. I have a four thousand dollar PC. I only use this crap for content. This is the if I. It's only been on when I'm recording videos. Like I don't do, I don't, I don't use it for, I don't know how to use a PC. Like that's why I, I would have no clue where the file is. Maybe this is why I don't like AI art. Now it makes a little bit more sense. Now, um, to be with okay. you. Oh yeah. So, you navigating through a windows file tree was an adventure. I forgot about dude, that. I'm so, if it's not a Mac, I have no clue how to do it. You we and make also, one in addition complete to this, computer user. in addition to this, my Mac two years old, Three thousand dollar computer, two years old, completely not working. The screen, it's a Mac, just doesn't work. That's rare for Macs. You no, can listen, dunk it, on a lot of things it's for Macs. Rare for but... Macs, unless it's a two thousand and nineteen MacBook Pro, in which case everybody online's like, "Oh yeah, they basically put the wrong size cable in." Oh and no! All of them do that, and they won't replace it for free. They charge nine hundred dollars. I'm so, coming to you from a five year old Dell. Yeah, dude. No, I'm not happy about it. I haven't had a computer for six, like a week. It's been, yeah. It's rough, I, dude. I have a new cable coming because I'm just going to put the same cable in it because, yeah. Have you ever fix. taken a, have you taken apart a Mac? Yeah, I've fixed Macs okay. a couple times. I was right. about to say, it's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'll be right. Are they going to release decks with the Arthurian Legends? Like the, no, no oh. decks, only boxes. Good job, George. Good prompting. Did really? you not know this? <laughs> yeah. You did no. you did know this, right? That was part of the announce. Oh, oh. He well, watch the announcement. No what a swing and close your eyes and hit the ball. No decks, <laughs> only boxes. Wait, really? Yep. Yeah. Um, only boxes and yeah, interesting. Um I don't love that. Mm. I like it. As long as beta decks they said that uh they're trying to get beta product to be more readily available. There was a <gasps> Call Team Covenant. They have all the boxes. Just tell them to ship it around. Are they still selling boxes at one? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, have one night. If the day is and why Team Covenant has boxes, this is not hard. Today is Wednesday. Ends and I why haven't looked. They still have boxes. They will always have boxes. That's that's what it is. Um, uh, Rudy's got his big thing coming out too. Um, Wait, what's Rudy's big thing? His next booster. Sale. Rudy got more boxes too. Yeah, that, well, we've known Rudy was getting yeah, more everybody but LGSs. We did. We did know yeah. this. Anybody? This yeah. Anybody out. who has a play space, no boxes. Can't figure Rudy, out. Can't figure out why Rudy, Team Covenant, lots of boxes. Can't, can't figure anybody, out. Can't figure out my feelings. Anybody actively? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, no, but like. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying that they're going to make it more widely available, and that's uh, that I think they will. Um, and that'd be let, great. Let me help your feelings, George. Look at this beautiful shark. Um, I got, I got no beef, baby. So, here's uh, other stuff. Uh, there was something else I want to talk about. Love that card. Uh, oh, uh, this week I have had cool week, summer ahead the entire podcast. This that's next true. week, you've hummed it. This next week, on I think Tuesday, I may have been pulling this out of my butt, but I think on Tuesday they're announcing Dust Rewards going live. Is my understanding? Um, so, of which there were promos, right? Yep, we maybe got lots of things wrong mm. last time. 
Uh, by we, I Josh, mean me. that was my big suggestion that they should do that. And I got clapped at saying they're not going to do that. They're going to ruin the asset. I just thought it'd be cool. They, there is promos. There's a color. Somebody messaged me promo. and told me there's going to be promos. I was like, okay, now I guess there's some dust. also play mats. There's lots of cool stuff, um, for, for dust rewards. So stop like on your dust. I love the dust system. I, I like the dust so system. Freaking big cool. fan. Big um, fan. I'm not sure if it'll be utilized in organized play at this point or not, but um, oh, to like reward dust for playing at events. Yeah, that is the that would be cool too. That's the future plans for it. That's um, cool. I like that. So exciting to see dust coming out and uh, all the events going on and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how many boxes stores get if they do make it more widely available. But they need that, right? Like Q4 now. Now we're talking, it's a, it is potentially. I don't know what you guys expected. Like they were very they clear said about this. Yeah. They I said, like, what do you mean no, you guys? No, that's fine, but they weren't very they clear should... about how much product was going to be available. They, if... they, like they made it clear they're going to be limiting releases. They want to be a that's... highly collectible game. Like that's, that's they that's said fine. this. They that's said fine. this the entire time. I don't know why people don't believe them. That's fine, but we we never knew if more boxes were coming to LGSs and that. We kind still of don't. Stuff. Well, they said they'd be more widely available, so I don't know what that means for them. If that's not what that. Yeah, means. so that's my point. They're, they're pretty don't. widely <laughs> available right now. It's highly available. And anyone in the United States can order them, and okay. the rest of the world doesn't matter to me. I just want you to have boxes. That's all I care about. I want Thank you, Josh. That means to have boxes. Have boxes. I want people to be able to go to an LGS and buy packs off the shelf. Yeah. Like that that's would be what nice. I want. Like that I is where okay. people people don't go to events if there's no product. I think it's the way it works. Do you think it's hard, it's extra difficult for an indie TCG community to balance that with, you know, the idea of something becoming super limited buyouts and going to the moon? Right, because instead of having this massive product base that you can print just a boatload of boxes and everything stays at a certain price, it's accepted and nothing's collectible. You've got 12 really dedicated people that are buying everything out. And now the price skyrockets and you print more of it and they get out because now you've printed more and everything go crashes down to the ground. It's like it's yeah. it's like the consequences for getting that wrong in this space. The indie space are so much more drastic. Yeah, I think you got to do what Sorcerer did. It's like you print lots, you print a decent chunk of boxes and you keep some back. I mean, he said in the discord server that they the it's not a new print. It is yeah. additional supply from the original print. It's like you you have to have boxes ready to fulfill the needs and you have to make sure you don't put too much out i mean that's that's part of it um but cool uh q4 pretty cool looking forward to some spoilers seems like they're doing that right too i like the idea that like you don't get to know everything in the set until you open the box too wait didn't you say the exact opposite when we discussed spoilers last time they should start spoiling now and they, I said be, they like, should start spoiling I yeah but like he, he said everything. like leak it real slow because it's a most of these yeah. sets are massive you do one card a week you've spoiled 30 cards by release like right out of 400 some odd yeah that's exactly or wait no Arthurian three in legends is a mini set no nope, it's not a mini set did they release did they have many cards did set? everything you said tell me about Arthurian legends is that all wrong i never said it was a mini set the dragon oh. set is the mini set I thought you said our three. I said it's going to be smaller. I think. Oh, okay, is it? Okay. I don't think that's like. Conf- I think that was confirmed by Simon on this podcast. Yeah. Are we going to have him back on for uh, for Arthurian Legends? I'll have Simon on anytime he wants. Okay, I will too. But here's my rule: I, he like, has to dress up as a knight. Next week, when Josh decides he doesn't want to be on the podcast, Simon can just take his spot. He's already decided that next week when he announces it, Louis. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> But he has to dress up as a knight, right? What? He has to dress up as a knight for Arthurian legend. How oh, cool would it be to have Simon in full armor? Yeah. Every t- and be, the, the like, face shield can't stay up. Every time lo- he talks, the, he's got to lift it. Yes, the, yes. The log- Every time he talks, he's got to lift log- it. Yes. The logistics of that seem difficult. A dedication, baby. Like, That's what how, I expect it, from it a great team. Like, yeah. All right. No. In a knight with a with a sword. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Just not Speaking in my office. Sword, and, a falcon, and a falcon. Speaking about Falcons, Star no! Wars, no, Millennium Falcons, Star Wars to 1K. Star Wars to 1000K. Big week for Star Wars. Big week for Star Wars. K. Um, pumped really good and then has tanked pretty pretty rapidly. Has gone, Wait, did it has tank? Gone, I mean, it hasn't tanked, <laughs> but like it, the pump definitely got, got, 
<laughs> it's it's settled. The box price settled what thirty three percent higher than it was before the pump. It's been a, what was a term. It was at ninety three and it's at one twenty five. How, how much is it now? One twenty five. So oscillating between one thirty well, and one twenty five. Hold on, on. one twenty five plus eleven dollars shipping. Is it one thirty five and TCG? Sure, one thirty five. Yeah, fair. One thirty. Fair, 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 fair. Uh, but it did shoot up very, very rapidly. Disney on, doesn't uh, miss, baby. Disney don't miss. Oh, this is I think. Shout the, out to the Disney. I think this is like the perfect thing to happen. This is exactly what Star Wars needed. Like the four people that play this game that's what they were missing are you kidding me I right had now 10 people playing this game in I apologize Virginia Louis the 2000 people playing this game across the United States that's what Star Wars was missing you told me for years that I would be surprised of the number of people that played Metazoo more people played <laughs> Star Wars on the release <laughs> weekend more people played release weekend Star Wars than ever played a game of Metazoo. Get you know that, fucking, right? Like, on, you're well amazing. aware of that. And frankly, like, it's not close. More people will watch Star Wars tonight on Disney Plus than have ever played this game. Yes. Yes, that yes, is true. But we're that talking about this TCG. That's what Star Wars needs. You know what, George, Star Wars does what? not need you know another. Star you, Wars does not need I'm going to go one step further, George. More people will watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse tonight. Right. After, hold on. We gotta after, it is, I think more on. people watch it Mickey is, Mouse Clubhouse is, tonight than Star it Wars. It's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. More people will watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in the United States tonight Freedom. than will ever play Lorcana. That would surprise me. No, it mm, won't because the TCG industry is tiny and minute. But and I would small. not say Disney needs Lorcana, and that's what they need it. And Star Wars doesn't need this. Who's saying the opposite of that? He's when he said this was just what Star Wars needed. He was talking about the TCG. Wait, what, Louis? You you said the phrase "this is what Star Wars needed." Yes. You were referring to the oh. announcements about print runs and the changing in price. Yes. That's what the Star Wars TCG needed. Is what oh. he's saying. He's not I'll saying this is what the Star Wars IP no. needed to boom. The Star Wars nobody IP nobody here thinks even, that the Star Wars IP doesn't even know there's a new game. They still think yeah, it's they're the going to sue once they find out one. people are using they their art. They're going to be like, "What the hell?" He they still don't know what happened wing. to Destiny. They don't even. They don't care. They, oh my god, I forgot about Destiny. Yeah. I forgot about Destiny until I went to list some Star Wars cards the other day, and the name of the card is exactly the same as it was in Destiny. Shocking. Uh, no, this is what they needed, because um, uh, boxes at 90 were ridiculous. The EV of boxes was insane. Like, everybody was like, what are cards going to be worth? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and all of a sudden, so Distro put out an announcement on, what day is this today? Today is Wednesday? Wednesday. I put out a on, couple. I woke up on Monday. I woke up 7.30 in the morning. I texted my rep 7.31, rolled out of bed, and texted my rep and was like, hey, can I get some? Can I get 60 more Star Wars boxes? Because I wanted to crack them for singles. Um, And she texted me back and was like, no, we're sold out. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I had a text for you. Last week, I sent you a text. I said, hey, when you guys start running out, please hit me up. Like, I want to buy some more boxes before you guys are out. And she was like, we won't run out. We have enough boxes, but we've kid forever. Yeah, surprise. She's like, we're out. So then they send a company-wide email that says, hey, we're out of boxes for Star Wars Unlimited. Sorry, we won't have more, basically, is what it said. Then, like, 40, four hours later, the market skyrockets. Everything goes up to, like, $180 a box. And then they send out another email that's like, oh, hold on. It's not sold out. We're going to have more boxes. We had a, we had a contingency plan. I don't know. That would, that's my favorite. When they're like, no, we had a plan for this. As they scramble in the background to make a plan for this. As yeah. Distro was just doing the Distro thing where they hold things back. Now, no, so like, mm, so I don't think that's what it is because this is not a so either. This was asthma day, and like, asthma well, yeah, day, the, the last email was, yeah, asthma day, not in, in the, the other distro is also not the distro that holds things back typically. Oh, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know, um, but this was good for the game because it shows that the demand it shows the demand of the game is higher than what they thought. <laughs> Um, and well, this has been this has been true in my store at least. I know it doesn't matter because it's West Virginia, but this has been true in my store. Is that like people didn't know that they wanted to play Star Wars until they saw product on like in the 
in the store people playing they got their hands on it and they're like oh this is different this is fun this is unique this is interesting right um and that's changed like listen people have been buying this crap like crazy i can't keep it on the shelf it's not just you it's selling everywhere the numbers are insane and I don't know, man. The the verbiage in that email is we have a contingency plan for this. We will be rolling out allocated waves or whatever it is. Yeah. But that to me, nothing in that email. I'm gonna let's 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 speculate. Let's put tinfoil hats on, baby. Nothing in that email made it seem like it's going to be a significant or meaningful wave. I would be interested how many boxes you get when they start waving this thing out, like per well, week. Like, What's man. the it's tough for them because they don't have like so most other distros would run your numbers based on your other games sure. right they'd be like right. oh you buy this much magic this exactly. much pokemon sure. you get this much star wars asmodee they don't have those numbers like asmodee right. doesn't have right. those numbers so like southern can do that if southern wants to do but asmodee is just gonna be like yolo here's your boxes because they don't have any numbers to know what well, stores but- you know order they said they're going to do it in like measured waves to get them through to the next yeah. release they made a statement saying like it's going to be equal waves coming out and yeah. that to me doesn't it doesn't scream if we're getting speculative of well you just get whatever you want every single week no. but only once a week so i would venture to say asthma they will do it based on what bundle you ordered like they bundled all their sure. like, initial like, so there was like a mega bundle and that's one i went with uh there Great, was like, but like a, what's the what's the top bundle get you that's the right. question so yeah yeah i mean like i think they'll like top bundle will get 18 boxes second bundle will get 12 boxes bottom bundle will get six right. boxes of the and that's, that's vastly different than top bundle getting 60 boxes or top bundle getting six gets, gets one case right? Right, right all of those things seem on the table because we know nothing else about so what's happening my speculation is that they actually had more product ready for may to do like a may the fourth the- event um that type that of thing cool. and, and that's and what now they're, they're like, used for this uh but, like, oh, crap yeah send it full uh, send people like people really like this game though it's super yeah, fun they do. um yeah they do. we played last night uh i tied i one thing i hate about the game is their tie structure so yes if you tie it's a double loss for it's a loss for both people so yeah yep it's, it's, yep it's, yep it's, it's, yep, it's just as bad it's yeah. literally just as bad yeah it's as bad as it's it was. literally yeah. just as bad you cannot make this up yeah so, i still have ptsd from the salt that rule caused <laughs> yeah. you literally can't can't make so it this up this happened last night no, are you no allowed joke. to forfeit are you allowed to quit or are you not allowed to do that either now uh i don't know if the rules on quitting off the top of my head i don't know any of the rules to be honest I that makes I, me I really happy uh shout out to cole who's my rules guy um you gotta get a guy for everything. Cole's my rules guy. I've got a Pokemon. I don't have a Pokemon guy. I'm the Pokemon guy. Uh, How about you have a professor? Yeah. How yeah. is that not your Pokemon guy? He's not my Pokemon guy though. Like he does the playing, but like uh, collecting. I'm the Pokemon guy. Uh, we've got the we've got yeah, the only part about Pokemon. That's yeah, yeah, that doesn't. I mean, um. I, so yeah, so me and Malachi, shout out to Malachi, we're two and zero. Oh, and we were at the top table and we tied and Cole ended up winning. He was two and oh, but then got a buy. So he was three and oh with a buy and he won as a result of us not finishing the top game, which was wild. Um, I don't like that. But I don't know. I, that's, that's just a bad. There's Vader, not much I'll say about it. It's a bad the, rule. The Vader card is insane. That thing is selling like crazy. Uh, it is, we sold one today at 90. It is currently at $93 for a Vader legendary <laughs> That card is so busted. It's in like every deck. Uh, so if you open in boxes and get a Vader, Vader, congrats. But I like the way they're doing stuff. They've got the, um, they've got the play, the prize packs too, that have alt art. So if you prize packs into, are nice, I like yeah. that. If yeah. you go to the store and you play there, you get alt art. But those alt art cards, there's not a ton of them. There's only 20 different cards. Um, so they're like, they're really cool and they look awesome. They look better than the regular cards, in my opinion. Um, but they are not, uh, like, you can't get the Vader there, right? Like, I like the way they're doing stuff. They're doing, they, they have this whole thing set up pretty well. Now, 
get just like everything else, give them time to screw to up. stumble and see what happens. Yeah. I'm going to put up the weekly play promos for those of you who are watching, but I like, I, I called you about like buying a set of those. Cause I thought they looked neat. Other neat Did looking you? cards. I don't, I don't remember that. Uh, they are sweet. I, I, I don't, I like, don't remember the conversation. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, gosh, well, why sure you like this random I, tidbit? I trust that you did <laughs> why do you, that. Why do you not like being on my podcast? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I trust that you did that. I do not recall that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, that's what they look like. I Those, like the framing on them. Yeah, I think they they're cool good. cards. Um, so, anyway, uh, it's pumping. It's doing good. I do think, like, this is the perfect price for boxes on TCG Player um, because, it, like, as a store... You, you have no incentive to sell on TCG player. They're selling below MSRP, but for, for a, um, for a consumer, like you can go to your, your, uh, LGS and get a slightly discounted box at 120 is MSRP. It's just across the board, a really big Wait. win. I think MSRP is 120. So it's selling above MSRP on TCG player. Right. But, uh, for a store, there's no incentive to sell on TCG player because you gotta pay fees and shipping. You're making less than $120 a box. So and like, have, it's not a hard to move product right now. Right. So you, it's a perfect price. It's this is the perfect like, dichotomy if, of price point right now. I think great 100. price around that one twenty to one forty. It's perfect for board. Perfect for games. We'll talk about Lorcan in a minute here, though. Uh, is there a place where I can get discount box openings though? YouTube.com slash hometown TCG. Oh, like if, like. Do I get like a discount if I'm if a member of a certain channel or anything like that? Like, how does that work? Limited, limited number, fast, limited number left. You better get at me because they're moving. Josh, can I buy a box opening? No, I, I would let no. you. Buy, yes, cool. Yes, I want, I want a box. No. Opening. I, I Why want would I say? Can I get six? No. Damn. Everybody, everybody gets one. Okay. I'll, tell I'll, them, I'll, tell I'm, them gonna have, I'm gonna have six friends call you. Okay. There's uh, you, you Louis, can't. You still can't get six because guess what? Eight six left. Louis the George true? wants one. Pooey I do La- not want one. Pooey the Porge wants one. And <laughs> George does not want one. I George I wanted no to still. I wanted to keep one or two of these for myself. And it's just, just he wanted to months. It'll be $80. I'm not, I like that. that I'm not saying I want to keep I that might be true too. I'm not saying I want to keep one because it's Tendy Town. I want to keep one because I think the cards look neat. Like so and the box looks cool. Sell them, sell them now. Then buy them when they're so you want to keep a sealed box because the cards inside look no. Nice? Every once in a while, I put a box on the shelf, and sometimes I just open them and have some fun with them. Oh yeah, how many of those boxes are all open behind you? This just the conspiracy box. This is, this is my favorite, Josh. Just the he's conspiracy got, box. It's got open boxes. Behind it's him. missing three packs that we used for a chaos draft. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think it's a good price point. Um, That's your favorite part is that there's one open box back there. I thought there was more. I thought you. I thought you trolled us more than that. No, this is one. I thought there was more. I'm actually disappointed in it now. Hmm. Your Sorry. backdrops. Your backdrop sucks. I thought yeah, it was cooler. Right. I thought I it was shark cool. stuff. Well, shark How's tank. the podcast doing, Josh? <laughs> shark Tank. <laughs> your backdrop sucks. You let me down. <laughs> you can't see my sixty number sixty nine Phyrexian <laughs> processor. <laughs> I thought you were trolling us better than that. Uh, you're, you're, no, you really happy. No, I'm I'm really this dumb when it comes to collecting sealed product. I really do this. I don't know why. I don't know, man. I, don't know, man. I that that <laughs> that cryptic box. I bought I bought eight grand of that at two hundred dollars box, and I just sold a bunch of boxes at seventy bucks. <laughs> I want to I want to shout you out in on that. You went. Oh my god! I totally you deserve a shout out. That. This cryptic box was free. For me, no, from oh. Tanner. I didn't pay for this cryptic box. There you go. So it was, was a right gift to the box all along. Can't figure out why his game died. <laughs> it was a gift. All the content creators have sealed boxes on their shelf. <laughs> find did me Josh, one. Did, find did me Josh one other. Co- hold on, time out. Find me one more content creator with a sealed cryptic box on their shelf. Did Josh? That's a cryptic. That's that's a scavenger hunt. That's yeah, the scavenger hunt I want. Want me to get my sealed box of 66? No. I don't want to be sad. No. Are you going to stick it to uh, the okay. gun in the painting? <laughs> All right. Can we move I on? paid for mine. I my paid wife's a lot home. for mine. My wife's home. I would like to go watch TV with her. Let's keep going. Amazon Hi, dumps. Mommy. Oh, speaking of dead games. I thought we were out of the Magic the Gathering section, Louis. Okay. I, I, where's the chicken figures? I got crow to eat. 
I I came on this podcast not mm-hmm. long ago. I know. And I said words like something along the lines of this. At least Pokemon has the decency to treat the local game stores right by putting yeah. their boxes on Amazon at MSRP and not being not being dicks like Magic the Gathering and putting it you know at discounted prices. And then before release day which is friday of airing of this podcast so we're going to air our grievances now they get on amazon they get on amazon and they put their boxes at the list of price grievances. they list the price which is supposed to be the msrp the list price at 130 dollars. msrp is 164 i believe is msrp something like that they list price at 130 and then discount it from there 13 percent or some bs like that so Everything I said, I take back. I take back. I eat the chicken nugget, the chicken tender. I would like to say that I eat Flamin' Young because I called Pokemon exactly right. I lowered my boxes on Pokemon in protest. Of course. like In protest to Amazon? Yeah. Get them. Get them. Get them, Louis. Listen. listen, listen, They're in a bad spot. Like, all jokes aside, this this is like, they're in a bad spot. Like, they'll be fine. Like, it's not like, like. Again, they're durable, right? Like they're not going to die, but like they have a real problem, and they don't seem willing to do what it's going to take to solve it. They got to crater the print run. They have to crater the print run. They can't. They like they can't lower the print run. What they're trying to do, they have to crater it. They have to get stores allocated again, and like they're not willing to do it. This like, is like owning your own printers. Big mistake. Tough. This Tough. is like going and doing the magic thing where they put boxes at it's just so I don't well, know, man. Well they have it's a ironic that you'll be able to buy to their wise. Like, boxes but that's not, but like that's not true. Like they have the Pokemon Center exclusive. They move a buttload they, of product. Pokemon Center exclusive, that's true. They they move a buttload of product in that way, and nobody complains about that. Stores are fine with it. That, that's that's a fine way for them to do business. But this is like, dude. Like, come on. I don't know. I like, I maybe yeah, I'm just old. 108 on TC. You I'm about to say, I'm pre release. That doesn't, I mean, me. for pre release. That doesn't surprise me. It doesn't, that that one does not. How much, how much money are you losing selling those boxes on TCG player? Yes, all of it. Yeah, you're losing 15 bucks probably after fees and shipping. Uh, um, and like, come on, this is pre release price. But, like, that will, be, that will be 105 bucks on release day. Yeah, that's a pretty con. That's been every. That's not different though. That's been every. They have to fix that. Like that's my point. Is that like? And there's one way to fix it. So you got to crater the print run. I think there's a couple ways to fix it. A lowering the print run is certainly one way they have to do. I mean, it's twenty boxes. it, It. It. But also, God, are their boxes freaking ugly? Like they're they have the absolute. They could use AI art. They should use Andy, whatever, to make a God, chicken I sandwich. I critiqued art and don't know Andy Warhol. So I know of art, Andy Warhol. Their boxes. That box is better looking than their current setup. Their current setup, and on top of that, they sent all these LGSs, these cool like um, display things. And you, when you put your booster box in there, you can't even see the logo of the booster. You can't even tell what box is in it because every they're they're packaging. Oh, it's like the dead TC key shelf got yeah. a, another another victim. I don't know. Oh, I would. Okay. I'm out of fusion strike. I actually low key would buy that box off of you, Josh, if you want to sell it. So I don't think you have enough money. Yeah, I probably do. Your price is significantly higher than market price. That's fine. I'll just buy one on TCG Player then. There you go. Um, like they have to create a print runs. Like like I I, I like. Oh well, so okay. Let me go back to like I think they're like they could sp- they could spice up their product design and tr- they put so much work into like the 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 their Charizard EX box that felt like Charizard single handedly the greatest product ever created. Like you could feel the box and it felt like Charizard supposed to feel. That's super cool. Kids loved it. People loved it. It was a cool collector thing. Whatever. Like they could spruce up their booster yeah. box, and that this thing. is this is the downside of having a game people don't play and only collect is that like you gotta make it limited. You, like this is the downside of that. Like the yeah. upside is you don't have to do a lot of things that like Magic has to do. Magic can't release busted cards all the time. 
even though they tried to prove me wrong on that. Um, like they like magic has to do a lot of things that Pokemon doesn't because people play the game a lot. But like if you're Pokemon and you're a collector's game, you gotta keep print runs in check. Okay. Second thing they could do, third thing, I guess third thing they can do. Um th- not having the cards on TCG player right now is so silly. Like yeah, that wouldn't help the pocket price though. No, you can't even see the cards. Right, like nobody I get knows. What, I, nobody, I, nobody knows what the that. cards look like, and so like you don't even get excited about pulling. Like you, it's like the opposite. I don't know. You just, it's, it's the opposite of the way too early, overwhelming spoiler season where it's yeah. like it's just not enough. Yeah, like I want to know what the like I when I One Piece, I get on TCG Player. Yeah, I sort, baby. I sort by highest value, and I say, what am I trying to pull? I want to know what the cool cards are. I want to always look at them. Always fluffy. And like, they just, they're never up on TCG player on time. It's like, I don't know. It's stuff like that, that I think, um, I don't know. Uh, this, this was not in my seeing this pre-release be, you know, a little more than half Karloff Manor pre-release numbers so far. That was not on my How does it radar. compare to like Goat Kana or Star Wars, Josh? Just asking for a friend. It's not, not favorably. No, not for, oh, oh, so like oh, sorry, we so talked about this last week, though. Well, I, I wasn't there, so I don't care that much. No, we talked uh, about the difference last week. Like most people aren't pre-ordering boxes of Pokemon on TCG Player; they pre-order from a like a online retailer that they know and trust and have been buying for for thirty years. Like, I mean, yeah, but if if those online retailers are making a profit on Pokemon, selling them more expensive than TCG Player, like sooner or later, that consumer is going to wise up. You make up. a profit because you don't have to pay TCG Player fees. That's where the yeah, if you're comes. online retailer, what your, your price is ten percent down. You price it at one ten. You, you don't pay you don't pay taxes when you buy when you buy from my website. You don't end up paying taxes because TCG player. Yeah, but like you, the store, state. pay taxes on that sale, right? I pay. What do you mean? Like on the money you make from the sale, the the difference you pay tax on that, and you have to pay to ship it to someone because you're buying it online. Like I don't, you're not making that much money per box. Making Even more than so, making on TCG Player. Yes, at selling you, selling at a higher price without TCG Player would net you more money. This could call Louis. No, but if you sell, I'm saying if you sell the same price as TCG Player, you're still not making much per box. No. Right, you're I mean, making the, more than TCG. You're not losing fifteen dollars. Agreed. You're, yeah, you're, Pokemon, making, you're breaking even basically. Pokemon is a volume game. So a I just it, volume. It's, um, yeah, like, like there was a they did a poll of 35 stores that sent this to you two bozos and like listen, like every store basically said they're. I mean, it's cutting basically oh, half from hundred percent and yeah. like prices are way lower. I mean, like yeah. this is not hard. They're printing too many boxes. You have to cut the print run down again. Yeah. Like you don't get to be a, col- a game that focuses on collectors and have unlimited boxes. You get to pick one. It is. It's nice to have that Balance. floor too. When things get bumpy or go awry, Everyone just wants they to play your game. They need one set to punish stores. They need one set to be like, I'm cutting your little behinds to the bone. That's the Rudy theory. Yeah, that, that's what they got to do. He's absolutely right about that. That's how you turn this around. If I order 300 boxes and I get 100 boxes, I, I get more anxious next time. Right now, it's like, why would I ever order more boxes that I can sell day one? It's going to be available yeah, for the next nine wouldn't. months. Yeah, you want it. And like, and like distro... We'll soon be bundling it with stuff I actually want. In fact, this time they bundled it before the before, before the game before the box even released. Yeah, this, this is where which like, I love. I love that for Pokemon. That is yeah. amazing. Yeah, that feels that's horrible. You want you want some goat Kana? You what know the you last thing that? I got bundled for me, Battle Spirit Saga to get One Piece. You want some goat Kana? Take some Pokemon. Boom! You move the Take- Battle Spirit Saga. You know I what? Took, I took a. Everybody a, tells me that game is amazing. A, I took a forty percent loss on two cases of Battle Spirit Saga to get two cases of One Piece, and then my dumb butt sold the One Piece at lower, like one twenty at MSRP to create a One Piece community in my store to people who then just you know shopped around to yeah. every other store and went and played everywhere and, and did whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. It's better Louis Knight. Listen, rough. dude. That's rough. What this is we're gonna get into it with One Piece, but uh yeah. hey. Pokemon. Oh Pikachu. You're no longer goat. 
other than vintage, which I still think you're good, but you know, other, you know, modern current Pokemon. Yeah. See, like the problem is also with Pokemon. A lot of the energy is going back to, um, to Scarlet and Violet or not Scarlet and Violet era. Was it before this? Was um, Violet. No, this is Scarlet and Violet to, uh, Sword and Shield era, like Sword and Shield era boxes doing real good. One box of Sword and Shield is doing way better. No, a lot of a lot of Sword and Shields doing very good. It is, and like my sort, like people come in and they they ask what Sword and Shield era boxes we have. Like that's what they want. So are they still in print? Can you still get them? West Virginia? Are they out? Uh, You can get a couple boxes. Like I got a bunch. I took like three cases of uh, Silver Tempest booster bundles this week. They were cheap. Yolo, dude. I gotta get the Pokemon ride. spend up somehow. I don't want to buy the. Why do you stuff. want your Pokemon spend up? I'm like so that I can keep ordering way too much Pokemon Lorcana. that I need. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. I know that. Yeah, I have a lot of. I got a lot of Pokemon. Uh, I have no problem with it. Like uh, no problem. Uh, I have a problem with them selling on Amazon. That's what I have. Problem with. Uh, real. I'm just an old fart. So, all right, no. here we go. Go Kana. Go Kana. Let's talk about them boxes. Dude, we're not talking about the boxes. Do, uh, hold on. Josh, don't answer. George, what are we talking about for Go Kana today? The tournaments. Actually, that was not my topic, though. My topic was how last month, three of the top six sellers, best sellers, were Go Kana. That's pretty good. But we can, talk about your, we can talk about your competitions if you want. That's fine with me. I can talk about your competitions. They've announced their first two cities. I want to give some unsolicited advice to Goat Kana here. I don't know what dirt Baltimore has on every TCG where they host <laughs> tournaments in Baltimore. Fight the good fight and don't do it in Baltimore. They're doing it in Atlanta and Chicago. Th- right. Th- okay, well, tell me you didn't read the article without telling me you didn't read the article. How many will there be, Louie? I definitely didn't read the article. Yeah, I, that follows. I, six. I also... They've, announced, they've Shut... announced two of the six. I just know one's so, going to be in summertime shy, so, so that's all that matters. Do, shout do out your to research. Donald, shout out to Donald, who sent me all the pictures and told me everything I need to know about yeah. it. Dude, apparently not. He did not tell you the number of tournaments, apparently. Did he tell Donald you you're coming is, back to summertime shy, baby? Donald is my Lord Kana guy. I thought I was he's also guy. my like my my best friend, but he's my Lord Kana guy. I thought I was your Lord Kana guy. I, I also definitely, thought we were your best friends. <laughs> definitely not my Lord Kana guy. Josh, you probably fit the best friend category. George, depends on the day. Depends on the day, buddy. Every day. Yeah, yeah. George, you're both my best friends. I'll complete. That I'll can't complete be. This no, no, no. I don't buy that. I don't buy that you can have multiple best friends. You have one best friend. That's what the word best means. Mine is Ruby. Okay. Uh, the cards look freaking amazing. Of course. You know why? They look so cool. Yeah. Do you know why? Because Lorcan is go. Cinderella, go. The, Cinderella doesn't look that good. They all look great. They yeah. all look good. Cinderella doesn't look that great. God, they need to make a Tay Tay card now that she's on Disney Plus. I'll probably try to get that Rapunzel card because my daughter loves Rapunzel. It's a, I was going to say, it's such a shame these are going to be expensive because the Let It Go card would be cool to be expensive. Yeah. Go Kana. I hate it when cards are expensive. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's yeah. why you love Pokemon. It's all free. <laughs> uh, the Let It Go card is cool. Um, so these uh, are. This They're is doing a few things right. Like They're a doing con, a few things right. Right. This is like hosted by them. This isn't hosted yeah. by stores, right? Correct. So far. So like they're doing a few things right. First, is avoiding Gino Baltimore. Fireball hosting one? I don't think so. Or are they First, doing it themselves like adults? I think they're doing it themselves. As okay. that's my understanding right now. We don't know yet. Yeah. We don't know yet officially though. Okay. First thing they're doing right, avoiding Baltimore. Sure. Second thing they're doing right, hosting it in Chicago in the summertime versus the winter, like Magic does. Both are fine. No. But summertime shy. Avoid O block. Third thing, showing some love to the Southeast, baby. Getting me that hot Lana, that dirty, dirty. Will the players know. play? Thank God I'm not here during that. I can't go to that one. I might go to the Atlanta one. No, let's go to, June. Going to the let's Chicago do, one. Let's do June in Chicago. I can't do it. Think... I'm going to Gen Con. I'm going to freaking everything. Are we year. going to Gen Con? Is that I'm happening? going to Gen Con. So. Louis is definitely going to Gen Con. That yeah, was never I'm... the question. Yeah. The question is did you, are you two bozos joining me? I did not commit to that. I will not commit to that yet. I'm going to Gen Con. I've said it on the podcast like six times. I kind of want to go Gen Even Con. Even I heard it, Josh. That's bad for you. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to go to Gen Con. Go to Gen Con. I'm in. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. Who, who are you going with? Uh, I am going with Donald. You can join us. I like Donald. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called you tag along. I didn't know. I called yeah, I go off. You I go off by myself. Actually, I think me and Donald ended up hanging out the whole time. That's probably fair. Yeah, I like Donald. George, don't you still hate Donald? You told I, me no, that was my best friend that Louis tried to separate. You told me in confidence that the beef is back. I thought no, no, no beef with Donald. Beef. Donald's my friend. Go to scruffygaming.org. No, and he definitely doesn't have a website. Yeah, d- he also d- hasn't. Yeah. Post, he also hasn't posted a YouTube video in like a year. So. Yeah, Donald post. No, I don't think he. I don't think he likes content creation. There's like none of either. us do. You just do it. No, there's. A, I love content creation. I, I get. That. I you get pump a new stuff. game every day. I get, like, it's your favorite time in the morning. I'm like tense because I'm like I gotta make a video. It's like I got. I got to I gotta be I able get to refresh that my phone. The, the stress. People like it. Like, the stress. The anxiety. Yep. Um, I think this is sweet. This this is a good listen. Lorcana continues to do things that I said they needed to do, and they continue to do them really well, and that's awesome. When I was how skeptical, that's they how we do. do like this they're doing it. I'm less skeptical now than I was previously. Um, I, I am think- equally skeptical as I was before. Zero percent. Uh, Zero percent. All right. Skeptical. Keep that same energy for release number four, buddy. Don't you don't lean in, get hurt again. Lean in. Need a banger headliner for set four. What's wrong with set three? Huh? What's going on with set three that you're worried about? He's great. He's great. But set four is where every new TCG finds the stumbling block. You got burned once. I got burned twice. What's the second one? MetaZoo. What was their set four? Nobody remembers. That's the problem. They're set for it was it was UFO, right? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Nightfall wilderness. Bro, was it, UFO or seance. It doesn't matter. Metis no. was it was dead after set two. God, like you guys were still talking about it. We were. But eh, I, I mean still like believed. actually we were still talking about it last week. So. Wilderness was all right, I guess. Oh yeah, wilderness was great. Yeah, but they, what? Greatest, they printed greatest so extreme. much. But like they were taking, they just wanted to be Pokemon. A Don't you remember over- the era of first edition and unlimited boxes when God. everyone was doing that too? Wow, we never yeah. got anything other than CN two for which is amazing. It, it, but it didn't stop them from putting first edition on the box. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> like set four, oh, you see some heartburn. Mm. I want like they could do a dedicated Frozen set. They could do um, <laughs> George really no. needs some. Oh no. No, Why? a dedicated that, set for Lorcana would be no poo-poo. great. No, no that would poo-poo. Limit the people poo-poo. who are interested. That's a bad poo-poo. take. That's a bad do you, take. Do you think? Do you think these other liner. games? Do you think the other games started listening to George around the time of set four? Probably no, because that no, idea I, would hurt Lorcana set four I, for sure. I know one of them didn't. Maybe Medicine did. I know the first game. <laughs> I know to one him. emphatically did not listen to me. The opposite of that. <laughs> If they would have listened to him, probably would have gotten a lot better, to be honest. Class talents are George's fault. It was probably a suggestion is. on the podcast. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> uh, I think set four will be fine. I, I I believe in you, Bob Iger. You brought back the Divi. You brought us Tay Tay. <laughs> I still don't Bob, think Bob, Bob Iger has doesn't any know what more kind of Bob thing. Iger gets is. It, gave us Tay Tay, gave us Divis, giving us Goat Kana. He will produce a good fourth box. I believe in you, Bob. Um, I- I'm excited for the events. Donald's gonna go to a couple of them. Try of course, he some. is. Uh, he's gonna bring back that challenge play mat. Did you buy um, the other one off of him yet? No, I don't think he actually wants to sell that. I would though. The- Donald, I know you. As Donald, soon as let me know what the price is, I'll pay it, buddy. As like, soon as Donald wins the Popper Cup top eight mat, I go. How long do you think until Louis makes an offer on that? Yeah. <laughs> how long do you think until the Louis tries to buy like, it? The problem is I have so many freaking play mats. I have play I mats am just cleaning my on office. The floor. Like, I, yeah. I have a stack like that I just found today. These competitions are how Lorcana becomes more durable. Like this is how you solidify yourself into a yeah. permanent place in the big boys. Competitive right now play they're big OP boys in sales. It. They're big yeah. boys in sales, they're big boys in players, they're big boys in collectors, they're big boys. But like they're not durable yet. So and I think like this is how you become a durable TCG. I was thinking about this the other day. I think Lorcana needs a little bit more of like the higher end competitive play happening. Like I don't think so. Yeah. Why? Do. 
Because I think so. I was thinking about this because there's a couple of people who played Star Wars that started off playing Lorcana and they don't play Lorcana anymore. I was thinking like, why is like why is that? And I think one of the reasons is that Star Wars is a it's a much more complex game. Like, can we Lor- wait till the third week for it before we? No. Okay. Good. Good. Of course All right, not. Good. Hold on. I'm glad well, the tradition it, will continue. He's this not will... making an outrageous take saying it's a more complex game than Lorcana. Yeah. That's not. That's not like an out of the box take. Like, there's an itch that needs to be scratched for the like competitive player, no. and I think. Not, I'm not saying that Star Wars is this like amazing competitive game. Obviously, it's not because the tie structure sucks. Sucks. But, like, yeah. But like the like I think Lore kind of needs this kind of leg up on stuff. And this will give it. Like you'll see the top decks here, right? Like you'll see a lot of coverage, hopefully. You'll see a lot of stuff. So shout out to Reed Duke. Yeah. Yeah. He did a whole article that really ticked off Magic's commander community about why you should care about professional magic. And his first point was like the Pro Tour just exposed this this vampire and we made a card go from two dollars to twenty two dollars and the whole commander community is like you made our cards more expensive screw you and they all got mad that's what the pro scene does for you baby you love to see it it'll be interesting to see if you see some of those magic pros going into the Lorcana stuff and that kind of thing i wouldn't be surprised like spike in the tournaments let's do it baby I mean, Man, we see, to everybody. Josh, you should go to the Chicago one. You should practice I, and go to the Chicago I one. I should go to the MetaZoo tournament and be one of the people that never gets paid. You should have gone to the MetaZoo tournament. That would have been such good content for us. No, like, that would have been the worst content. I would have had the worst You should go to the time. Lorcana one. It's in your town. I'm not It's like right down that. the street from you. If I'm taking a weekend away, I'm playing Magic, baby. Oh, okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's finish up with the one piece. Before we go, three of the top six sales for TCG player last month were Goat Kana. That's awesome. No game was close. Uh, mm. That's how we do. That's how we do. No, that's how we do. That's how we do. Three. No game was close. No game was close. Three. No game was close. Two of the top five. How are they there's not a three in the you, top? Yeah, a, how are they not? There's a reason the you expanded then. that to six, and Magic also had two of the top five, and two. Lorcana also two had the three. closest release in that two time. Two of the top three. Two, two was, is not three. It was the third game. Pokemon. You guys what? had one. You guys. You guys. Wait, had you said you said two of the top three because that's not true either. No wait, I didn't say two of the top three. I said two is less than three. Oh, okay. What was the Pokemon set? Temporal, Temporal forces. Oh wow. That's surprising. You guys got a participation trophy. I'm proud of you, Louie. I, I participated that. in the top five. Lorcana got a participation trophy. They got I second. So. Star, Wars gonna, Star Wars is going to be top five next month. Hey, li- second place is only the first loser. You're not the second loser. You're just the first loser. We have too many products. You guys have like a stupid play booster. Nobody wants it. Today, this, I got a box I wow. got boxes of Star Wars in, and one of them had a rip and seal. I didn't even <gasps> complain about it. I just said, you know what? I got to open this box. Like, I don't know what to do. Did it have a Vader in it? I haven't opened it. I'm going to do it like after this. So I thought you were going to watch TV with your wife. No, I think she just went to bed. So <laughs> I missed that. Missed that window. <laughs> All right. Leaving One Piece. So not going to happen, baby. Welcome to the One, One Piece, Piece Minute. Um, there's been a lot of complaints lately. Online. Why? What are, they, what are they whining about? People are starting to get really frustrated that they can't get boxes. Really? Because yeah. it's a game they play. Wow. Yeah, I, bought two, I never I bought, have seen this coming. This is bought, this is shocking information to me. I bought a collection and then like five cards. It wasn't really a collection from people. <laughs> this week. That guy's collection. That's a one piece collection in I 2024. Five cards. Q1 that guy, 2024 doesn't count. Other guy though, I bought a collection off him, and like he was like, "I'm done." He's just like, "I'm I'm done playing One Piece. I can't get boxes." I can't like it's just I it's don't just, get what there's <laughs> he's like it's just scalpers it's not worth playing if I can't mm. play at stores and play limited and play whatever like it's just stupid and he sold his collection and went back magic good for him shocking who would have guessed it this is gonna happen a lot because we just got announcements of, of the reprints and there's like no boxes coming part of me is like I don't get what they're like we got pre-allocated right yeah. so they told us how many boxes we're getting and it's like what do you, what do you want me to do with Five boxes. Like, what do you, what do you yeah. want me to do with them? Like, I mean, what like, am I supposed to do with them? 
I literally don't understand what they think is going to happen out of this. Like this is like how like so somebody said they're just trying to get people to go to Union Arena. That Union Arena is going to be like this mass produced like huge thing. Was that you? That that was me. That they're mm-hmm. screwed. They're trying to like funnel everyone to their Union Arena because then they can make use of all these IPs in one spot. That was my conspiracy theory. I didn't think anyone would actually think that was a good idea. I'm yeah. on board, baby. Let's do it. Like a guy was uh, the the guy who sold the five cards. He was like. I'm just going to play Union Arena when it comes out. Oh <laughs> like, he was like, God. I'm not. Yeah. Because all the Bandai games are essentially the same mechanics. So, trusting Bandai and trusting Fantasy Flight for games. Hey, listen. Don't you go pooping on my George, you, you, you told us how great of a gameplay experience it was. The fast games, right? it's burning a hole through the community. A, and the, the gameplay is still good. They can't get boxes. They get nobody's yeah. leaving because the gameplay sucks. Yeah, it, nobody's it, leaving because the gameplay sucks. But they're gonna take all that juice and put that in Union Arena and mass produce. It'll be everywhere. Like, a trillion like, boxes. It's a no. mixture because, like, from a I game, well. store, I know, I know you're for, not, I, from a game store perspective too. I'm the same way. I'm like, why? And like, I yeah. I do box. I don't get boxes to sell to anybody else anyway. Make, yeah. But but like. What's the point of having events if I don't have boxes? This is the same problem with what's the point of carrying the game? Like, what's the point of me hosting events? And if I can't get boxes for those people to enjoy, they don't even want to come to the event. I can promote the event as much as I want, they don't show up because they can't buy boxes, they can't buy product. They can't win win packs, like, yeah, yeah, they can't win packs, they can't play sealed, they can't play limited, they can't do anything, so they leave the game. Like, this is. More games could just be like Okana. Like, man, it is so frustrating. Um, well, then, like, Distro makes you take 85 pounds of absolute yeah. unsellable garbage right. to look at a One Piece box. Shout out to Battle Spirit Saga. Well, okay, absolute garbage. Tells me Battle Spirit Saga is a good game. Like, uh, I've heard it from everybody liar. who's played it. They are probably lying <laughs> to you. Really? Yeah, because they're, nobody they're probably trying that. to sell you their Battle Spirit Saga. Yeah. I I, that day was so funny i like i said yes to the the distro and then the first thing i do when i accept something i get on tcg player and i list it like even i mean we're like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get this product for four days it doesn't matter to me get it up there i get up there and i look at sales day there's no sales so then i get on facebook and before oh! what the front page of tcg player just changed right now to to a new order of games oh my gosh is Star Wars on there? No. What? It goes Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Lorcana, One Piece, Digimon, then another game. What was the point of freaking out about this? I look, they changed it finally. I'm glad they can finally put us near the top where we de- where we belong. Where was there kind of before? The last one because they added it in, they added they added oh. it in order of where the oh. games were added. Now they finally are getting a little bit closer to right. Pokemon. Three more games now. to take down. Do we reclaim our rightful place at number how is, one? How is so, so based two? based on that, Yu Gi Oh is in its rightful place at can, number two. Yeah, can we're somebody in the closer. comments are getting closer? Are we just closer. missing Yu Gi Oh? And we're like, getting closer. I could have no interest in Yu Gi Oh. We're getting Man, closer. I could, maybe. I could I could add a Yu Gi Oh set to the tracker, and we could see three no. more to take down. No. Please don't. <laughs> I rather I rather be. You'd rather be ignorant. Yeah, I would too. I'm with. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm 100. I'm in. Welcome to me. This you be with you. I'd rather not know. <laughs> I'd rather not it's, know. I don't want to know. It's easy for me to die. Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. God. Yu Gi Oh's gonna trounce Pokemon. <laughs> if if I found out Yu Gi Oh was massive, Yu-Gi-Oh's I'd have to. I'd have Pokemon. to just be like, you just don't understand the Magic overseas market. People don't buy Magic on TCG Player anymore. What is a? This is must be the. My rep is like, hey, are you sure you don't want any Yu Gi Oh? I'm like. I, dude, I couldn't I don't tell know you. To, I don't know somebody what to do with came, it. The first time ever somebody came into the store, I've had people come into the store for sorcery, right? I've had people come into the store for Lorcana, for every other game, for whatever. For MetaZoo, I had people come into the store. No one's ever come in the store and asked for you to go. Somebody Whenever came in. Whenever there's sleep, a tin, my rep scams me into taking it. He's like, this came, one's going to be really hot. You need to take at least a case of it. I'm like, it's a case. Screw it. I'll take it. <laughs> never somebody, is hot. Never can move it. Somebody came in for uh, for Yu Gi Oh sleeves the other day, and it's the only time I've ever recommended them go to another game store. <laughs> I was like, go over there. Get, get, get. Wow, 
Do you have you any Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon sleeves? In this. No, I, don't have I saw a tour of your game store. You have every other sleeve but a Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve. No. God, no. You would I order have, like, and I have, a, I have a, a stack of Yu-Gi-Oh packs left that will never sell. But. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, people are leaving the game because, and this is a problem. Listen, this is a problem every game will have if they don't eventually figure out their print run, right? Like, you can have a first set print run that's rough. That's fair. Like, even Goat Kana, right? Lorcana has chapter one. You can have a first set that's rough and that prices yeah. people out of the game or whatever, but you got to figure out your stuff. This is OP6 now for One Piece, and they, they lowered the supply. Like, they're just but trying like- now. But can I see this? That's my point. Like, I don't think they think this is like. They don't they, think this like, is when, bad. When, when Goat Kana had the problem in the beginning, I'm not gonna call it problem. The hiccup in the beginning. <laughs> um, they were like, "We're gonna fix this. Don't worry. Hold tight." And they told us when they're gonna fix it. Yeah. They said, "We're gonna fix this by set three. One piece is like, "We're gonna lower the print cost. Exacerbate this. We're, we're gonna. <laughs> like, they don't yeah. think this is a problem. We're gonna they make don't. this worse, and I, I don't really don't. get that because also like they can't be making as much money as they could be. No, they're not making anything. I'm not gonna go that far, uh, but like you know, like they could sell five times as many boxes and still have a healthy market. From, yeah, yeah, I mean, I would argue more than that, but I would too. But like, I'm saying like lowest end nice, stuff. Their game cannot grow. Like it can't. No, the no, only no. way it's growing is it's it's tendy farmers. Like it's Louis. Frankly, they need to grow so that people go back to Pokemon. No. Right, you warm everyone. up your singing voice this before a, the podcast, or you just go raw. It's been a two-hour podcast. Um, we're done. Can we talk about eighteen games now? It's your fault. <laughs> you keep adding new games. <laughs> I mean, like, this is a fair criticism of me. I know. No, Star Wars needs to be talked about. It's making a splash. I'm all in. All right, everyone. Where the tendies go, the passion no, follows. I like, it's Welcome to Made the Zuby with you. I gave Thank you for watching. Tendies. Everybody be kind to those I around bought, you. I bought go two buy tri- Star Wars box openings at hometown grave. DCG. Got your back. And join Louis Discord. Pay five dollars to get access to stuff, and we will see you. Dude, next I have week. some cool T-shirts coming out. Do you have with you? I'll make a tall just for you. I'll buy two and I'll sew it together on the bottom just to make. <laughs> so you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna leave both sets of arms on too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just four arm holes. Oh, the Josh shirt. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, everyone. You. Remember the kind of people around you. May the zoo be with you. And also with and you. And also with you.